What's up people, Wrestling's Mandem here, letting you guys know we now have YouTube channel membership live on the channel. Any video you click on the main profile, you will see a join button. So make sure you join, sign up. There are two different tiers and there's all kinds of different perks all over these tiers, yeah? Again, Wrestling's now has channel membership. Sign up and support the Mandem. Yo, what's happening people? You're listening to the Rest Things podcast. Kenny Omega approved podcast. If you like what you're hearing, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, you already know this podcast is by the man them, for the man them. Bow! Hey, Make some fucking noise, we'll find your address. We got it wrong last time. We got it wrong last time. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. And before we start this podcast, I want to say my sincere apologies to Nabil and Lincoln. I got something wrong last week. Um, Big up you guys. Man. Make some noise for accountability. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stuff, Come on, man. I've got Take the big man. Take the big man. <laughs> those, those, those are my guys. Those are my guys. So I've got to apologize to them, man. Um, Injuries? I mean, you're the one that starts it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put him it's, on the spot uh, like that. Yeah. It's a Nafi. Across me, I've got. When I say Guap, you say Daddy Guap. Daddy Guap. Daddy. Daddy. It's a strong star rating. I'm not restarting. So, it's still <laughs> boy. It's still <laughs> boy. On the left of me, you've got. <laughs> Yo, slaps the main event, living champagne, champagne sipper, up. big bag driller, Jeez. baby face killer. killer, live in the building. Love it, love it. Oh, damn, I need to change my promo, man. <clears throat> Yo, people, it's your boy NK, aka the man of the hour, too, too sweet, sweet to, to be, be sour. sour, aka the hood's Japanese Ooh, correspondent, aka the CEO, the president, the commissioner of the TDM, Tokyo Dome, Dome Merchants. Merchants. We in the building. Mm. To my left, officially, I've got mm -hmm, two yes. special guests, man. If you guys know where these guys have been, what these guys are about, like, yeah, we're about to we're about to unpack a few things today, man. Mm -hmm. Big up you guys, man. Appreciate Got... it, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Long time coming, man. Long time Long coming. Long time Sam, coming. Sam's been telling me from the start. Yo, you're all of our first followers, bro. Yeah, yeah, I remember, man. Yeah. Sam telling me about the podcast, everything. You know, I was excited about that. And, you know, the, I love the way you lot built the community, man. Like, the, the British wrestling community. Like, it's cool. Like, I don't even see something like this in, in America. Mm -hmm. You know, the whose song is it? All of that. Fucking amazing. What can I say? Of course, oh, man. Okay, yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. Fuck it on, mate. Um, shit, fuck me. <laughs> right. um, but yeah, man, that, that was really cool. Um, everything about it. Even when I was in America, man, I listened to you guys. You know, the up, the up days, the down days. I always listen to you lot weekly. Amazing. I'm Zaire, for you lot that don't know. Mm. That will be my wrestling name as well going forward. Mm. Over to my left here is my boy Angelo. That's me. That's me, man. Also known as, if you don't know me like this, then you will. Tommy Moran. That's me. Ooh, That's me, man. Moran. And you guys collectively are known as? The, the Ashes. ashes. Make some fucking noise for the Ashes. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. So, so the, the background to that name. So obviously, we met each other in America. I literally mm -hmm. met him on a flight to Chicago, which is f yeah, fucking cool. Yeah, we met at the cool. airport. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got connected on WhatsApp. I was like, yo, what are you saying? Da, da, da. We met in a lounge and then, yeah, kicked it off from there. Did everything together in like three months challenging that's obviously what we signed up for we learned so much out there um so yeah the ashes comes from i'm obviously from england mm. he's from australia oh, the ashes. Yeah. The ashes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. i remember when you told me and i said oh it's cricket and he's like oh, i didn't think you'd get it I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know you know why because when i was in america and we were saying it to yeah people, nobody got they it. didn't get it because oh, they just watch baseball and no america football and all of that, that. but mm. Yeah, man. So obviously we ain't had our official first tag team match together, but the tag team scene is what we want to go for. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we want, yeah, we want to go all the way to the top when we're just yeah. getting started. So what are some of your like favorite tag teams? Like, all right, so the so first, I'm yeah, go on. Big, big FTR guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huge. I, I was like, I was a revival guy, you know what I mean? And then FTR, you know, they're probably like my biggest mm -hmm. inspiration in tag team wrestling. You know, they're just, mm -hmm. yeah, they're I just mean, one of a kind, man. Yeah. I mean, you, you always. They're like Tully and, and Arn, you know what I mean? But they're one of a kind. They're special this day and age. It's, a, so. it's the dynamic as well, like, you know. And another one is the Briscoes. Mm. Um, RPJ. RPJ. Uh, yeah. RPJ. That, that's a big influence. The promos, everything about that. <sighs> one of my favorite tag teams growing up, the world's greatest tag team. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Love the style, you know, and everything. And I, and I feel like the reason why we're a tag team, we've got a lot in common, you know. Mm. But we're also different as well. He's got the tats. i got no tats. i got dark hair. He's got brunette hair this and that so it's just you know the dynamic between us even our ring styles are a bit different you know yeah so you know yeah we're just getting started you know we're thinking about our finishing moves signature moves all of that trying to put everything together um promos we're constantly thinking about promos and all of that so so yeah and that's obviously what we learned out there in america yeah i have a request yeah um, would you be able to name a, a move after us mm -hmm. ask all the wrestlers this 
We'll do that. We'll do that. that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Definitely. I mean, we got one name. Okay. We're we're obviously called the Ashes. So one of our uh, moves will be called Dust to Dust. Mm. Mm. We'll we'll show you what the move is one day. Can I guess what the move is? I feel like it's like when you say dust to dust. Yeah. I feel yeah. like you jump one cross on this way, one from this way. Cross the coast. Crush the guy, fam. Hey, no, he jump. He jump. He, he looks jumped. athletic. He he's not that athletic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, now, when you said dust to dust, I was thinking of like um like you know um the eliminators, the high low. Mm-hmm. The sweeping kick mm-hmm. and then someone does like a spin. I don't know. That, that's what came. To that's mind. not going to be it, but that's that's it's, in it's, there. That's yeah. in our repertoire. Uh, uh, there's a flat. That might, that might be restings, baby. That might be restings. Yeah. You know. Turn it on. Turn it on. That should be the name of the move. <laughs> 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 but yeah, man, that's just a little little background. From both of us. Um, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Fuck ashes to ashes. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, man. Um, should we tell him how? Idea of a finishing. If move? anything, before we even get to let's let's get to how you initially started. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get to so the beginning. you've got a whole ring in your back garden, bro. Yeah, Oof. yeah, yeah, yeah. It took a long time That's to build it together. Changer, bro. It's a game, a game changer. changer. You know, I invested in this. Do you know what I mean? Because I knew I wanted to do this. Yeah. Mm. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to do this. This didn't know till I was like 24 years old. Shit, you can actually do this in the UK. So, yeah, man, I invested in it. That's why Ange came over all the way from Australia. Um, he's living with me, so it's like having a brother, which is fucking cool. And make yeah. some noise for brotherhood, bro. Yeah. But, but yeah, man, so so the way it started was um, Black and Brave Wrestling Academy, obviously run by Seth Rollins, Marek Brave, Matt Mayday. They're amazing coaches, amazing trainers. The best, man. It was the, the best. best investment we made. Um, and yeah, I mean, I applied for this course, I think, March, would you say March 2020? Yeah, I think we were both yeah. saying tw- uh, 2021. Okay, was. March 2021, because yeah. I remember it was like the second lockdown or third lockdown or something like that. Yeah. And obviously we applied for the September 2022 course, yeah? Long time coming. Um, I remember I was 100 kilograms at the time. So like leading up to it, I was like, shit, I've got to lose weight. got to get into shape. got to be ready for it. Um, as soon as we got there. Thank like, fuck we did, I I mean, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a conditioning That's... test, you know, death by burpees. Whew, that was burpees. death so, by burpees. So we got sick. we got stitched up, right? Because we uh we had the we had originally planned that we'd have a day in between our flight and the conditioning test, mm-hmm. but they pushed it forward because of Seth's schedule, so that we had it on the sixth instead of the seventh. So we literally flew in to Davenport, Iowa, and then had dinner, oh, did our dinner. Walmart, which yeah, the dinner was like the greasiest, grossest the fucking thing we could have had. Worst thing to have. have the night before the conditioning yeah. test. Yeah. The worst thing. And then we wake up fresh the next morning and we've got to do a fucking six hour conditioning test. That was the most, just the like, most intense thing. Have you guys vomit? Uh, no, well, no. So none of us did, none but there were a couple that did. In the in the yeah. in the warm ups too. I'm it was in front of in front of Seth. In front of Seth, bro. Oh, I want to say, out. <laughs> <laughs> out. <laughs> what was it? Dude, see, that was the, that was the like, introduction to Seth because someone went to the bathroom literally in the warm ups, and then he's like, who the fuck is in the bathroom? And we're like, oh shit, okay, this is how it's going to yeah, be. This you is know, serious. Like, you know, what this Seth is, was probably like, like, He was proper, serious. proper, yeah, yeah. Top coach, man. Pushes yeah. you to your limits. I'm guessing that person threw up during the burpees, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what, mm-hmm. always, happens. Yeah, yeah. That's what always happens. I mean, yeah, burpees are, are challenging. But ah. yeah, man, so once we got through the conditioning test, it was like, okay, cool, we're here now. So then obviously everything starts coming together. Like 101 arresting, right? Like you go from the rolls, you go to the bumps, you learn the basic moves, you learn technical resting, all of that. But yeah, man, it's um great experience. Mentally challenging experience, physically challenging mm-hmm. as well. You learn a lot about yourself in terms of like your strengths. Man, like Sam, yes, okay, no, my guy. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, man, it was um exactly what we we signed up for. Yeah, um, it was it was a tough three months, man. Tough, tough three months, months you know, ups and downs, mm-hmm. ups yeah. and downs. You know, there's you know like you know when we started having match practice. Boy, those mornings we used to wake up. You know, it was like it was like tough enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was like oh. tough enough. Yeah, like the way we was all in the house, bunk beds. Bro, we watched the first season because we were like, oh, this is us. This is us. <laughs> we're tough enough, you know. But it was, um, yeah, it's mental, man. Like it's it's a it's a big mindset thing too, you know. Like because mm-hmm. yeah. every day you're going in there, you're taking bumps, and you're like, you know, every day you wake up and you're like, fuck, like, do I really want to do this? And then yeah. you get in the ring take the bump and all of a sudden everything's gone and you just you know you just keep moving you just keep going like you don't realize how far your body can go you in have wrestling. to be mentally like, engaged yeah. all the way in it what what was like the hardest thing during that whole oh. course like 
Uh, what nearly what nearly broke you okay so the, the the hardest thing like mentally and i don't know if andrew will agree with me on this was the promo day oh yeah because you know? you're doing promos in front of seth freaking rollins yeah. yeah and that's no joke right so that was probably the hardest thing but when we all got through it we all you know all of us delivered promo wise um which was pretty cool i feel like I don't know what was the what was the hard. I mean, the conditioning test was hard, but that just happened instantly. Yeah, right? yeah, it was so, straight away. We didn't even have time to think about yeah, it. Yeah, you know? so obviously we got um, through that. But I feel like um, maybe once you start doing matches, doing matches for matches for me, like you know, mm-hmm. you'd wake up in the morning, you'd be yeah. a bit anxious. You know, at the end of the day, you're doing a match in front of Seth Rollins. Like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, that's one a dream, but two, like what if I fuck up? You know, like yeah, that's yeah. that's all I kept thinking. So you'd wake up in the morning, you'd be so like anxious, my stomach could be like oh fucking you turn can't, and can't turn. Eat, legit like i'm just pushing <laughs> down Literally, eggs just you know, to like you know we'd have a notebook planning like what we kind of want to do yeah you know, planning our comebacks all of that stuff um because yeah. before that we'd only done like maybe one one and a half minute like spots you know what i mean we just run through spots yeah. and then mm. all of a sudden it was like all right let's put together a five minute match six minute match you know and then you know you're doing it you know, like i said in front of seth and you're like all right fuck and then you yeah, get in the ring and you forget everything and you're oh. like oh fuck oh, what yeah, do i do yeah and then like he's not easy on you either you know no, all no, the coaches they you. were they were like you know they wanted to push so us hard on to you, our bro. limits to yeah. get the best out of us right mm. so for some people that will either make you or that will break you mm. so yeah, i feel yeah. like that was that was the biggest thing right like i had you know bad matches but then it ended up good matches mm-hmm. i mean the the last day we had I That's think all of our best all matches, yeah, yeah. Um, which was you know fitting as well because it was the last day and whatnot, and then you know they got us pizza at the end. It was like a graduation ceremony, <laughs> all of that. So that was a sense of achievement. It's one of the best things I've ever achieved in my life. So um, you know that feeling too, that like feeling. when you finish, like yeah, that you know, course. You know, they all shake your right? hand and stuff. Yeah. No, not everyone finishes. You drop out. It, you so know, there were dropouts. There were dropouts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there was like 14, 14 of us. So we I've, start. Yeah, we start. I think we started twelve. So originally there was going to be like fifteen in the emails that we got, mm-hmm. and then on conditioning day there was twelve. Then we had one yeah. drop out in the conditioning test yeah. and then yeah. another during four the test? during yeah, the test. Man, yeah. yeah, it breaks you, man. And they're, they're hard you, about it, right? So they say like, you know, if if you can't finish this course, like you got to do it all again. Like mm-hmm. it's not, you can't just come back and, and do it. So for us, like we're like, fuck, well, I've come from Australia. He's come from England. Like if we drop out, got no we got no, cho- like we've literally got no choice. Do you remember we doing that 400 meter run? And then the guy's like, you came all the way from Australia and you came all the way from England and you're just doing this. Like, yeah, right. it, they were trying to break us, right? Yeah, like, right. That's, that's how it was. But I guess, you know, what makes you, what breaks you, makes breaks you, strong, yeah? yeah? That's, yeah, that's yeah. what I learned from it. And, and personally, like, I learned so much about myself as a human. Oh, 100%. Um, it made me realise, yeah, shit, this is what I want to fucking do for the rest mm-hmm. of my life. Um, sure. And then, yeah, and I met brothers for life there. Everyone in that house, everyone on that course is family now. We've mm-hmm. got a group chat on Instagram. We're always chatting. We're connected. We're connected for life. Yeah, so, they are boys. Yeah. So yeah, big up everyone. Um, what class? Class twenty five. Class twenty five. Yeah, yeah. Big up everyone. Man. We, we make some noise from class twenty five. Uh, thank you. Did you guys ever have to, um, get, um, to have like one on one time with Seth and uh, have a conversation with him or give, get any type of like, advice from him? So um, we had a. So whenever Seth was there, uh, we could ask him questions at the end of the session. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever we wanted so that was pretty cool yeah um yeah, brett was always the one that asked the questions yeah our boy so. brett he was like he'd throw out the fucking weirdest questions the weirdest man. question like, that guy the, like, like just... he's the encyclopedia of wrestling like i thought <laughs> i knew about wrestling but this guy's another Bruh, level. this guy would sit another there level. and watch like just the random 80s matches like yeah. from like wccw and you're like that's your bag like, what <laughs> is this I'm, and I'm they're just red I can't, I can't go down that level well, see, I, w- I would <laughs> never watch 80s wrestling yeah. before this, right? And then you'd go downstairs and he'd just have this random match on and you're like hooked. You're, you're like, hooked. oh, this Instantly. is so sick, Instantly. you know? Yeah, so hopefully one day when Brett comes all the way from Canada, he can come on this yeah. podcast, yeah. meet you guys. Yeah. That would be cool because he's killing yeah. it out there. He's already had his first match after the um, after the course, which is pretty cool. I think he's had a couple he's now. He's smashing so. it. Sean yeah. Murphy. Sean Murphy. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. shout out. Uh, but yeah, man, so Seth really... So after we did our training matches, Seth will give us his lowdown and what he thought of it, mm-hmm. yeah? You know, I had, you know, feedback once and he called it the shits. And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hey, hey. I'm fucking shit. The drizzling shits. The, yeah. Oh, is that what you said? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's what you said. That's what you said. But yeah, man, you know. Um, but then there was good feedback as well. You know, he was happy. You know, for, for me personally, he wanted to get the energy out of me. Yeah, you know, yeah. obviously I was nervous, right? And, you know, being in that environment and stuff like that. But then towards the end, I felt the energy and I felt like sh- I can do this, right? So... 
yeah, I got what I wanted out of this. We've all got what we wanted out yeah. of this. Um, the thing was, like, all the feedback that he gave, whether it was bad or good, it was always good. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. At the yeah. end of the day, like, in my opinion and a lot of people's opinion, he's the best wrestler in the world. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and that's yeah. why we wanted to go train with him because, mm-hmm. you know, we're learning from the best, right? So we're a product of, of the best wrestler. And that's what that's what we believe, you know. That's mm-hmm. what we're going to mm-hmm. try and bring to the tag team divisions mm-hmm. here, you know, because that's what we believe we are, you know. Um, I've got to ask, though. Now that you guys have completed this course, what comes after? Like, are there follow-up classes or you just go out into so, the open wrestling world and do your thing? So that, that's pretty much it, it man. Yeah, yeah go we're out to the open to wrestling world. You know, obviously I've got the ring in my back garden. So re- recently in the last two weeks, we're just trying to get the ring rust off. Because mm-hmm. when I came back in December, I enjoyed Christmas. I enjoyed New Year's. I chilled. I ate all the food I wanted. I enjoyed it too much. Everything. <laughs> yeah, way, yeah, way <laughs> too much. Um, no, but yeah, last couple of weeks, we've just been like, yeah, let's get the ring rust off. As soon as we get the ring rust off, we're going to be going to like all the wrestling schools across London, UK even, try to get to the seminars. You're constantly learning in wrestling, even if you're 40, you're 50, you're constantly learning. And that's what I love about it. So, um, so yeah, like... That was the big thing they'd always say, hey, it's like, you might think you get it now, but if you're still doing this five years time, 10 years time, you're going to have that switch that goes, oh, I get it. You yeah, know, I understand. Yeah. Like, there's just always a learning curve in wrestling. Like, that's that's the, I, I mean, the best thing about it. The thing it, that you know? they emphasized a lot to us, yeah, was like, they're teaching us about the psychology of wrestling. Yeah. yeah. So Seth didn't care about the moves, right? He, he didn't care if he did a Canadian Destroyer, all of that. He cared about if you punch someone in the face, what does that mean? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, what, are, what story are you telling to the audience? And that's what we got. One of the coolest days that we had there was the tape study. You know, watching mm-hmm. wrestling matches yeah, with Seth Rollins, awesome. you've got your notebook out and he's, you know, critiquing <laughs> matches, how this happens, how that happens, why this happens, why this happens. And it was fucking cool, man. Like, the whole experience was amazing. Um, it changes the game because it, it changes, changes the, the way you watch wrestling too, you know. Yeah. So we watch it in a whole different light. Like, you know, now we, like, look at it almost for educational purposes. Like, oh, okay, this is why they're doing that, you know. This is why they're doing this. Like, it makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's awesome. Hey, yeah, they actually say, like, that's the moment in your wrestling school that, like, you'll either love wrestling after this or you can't watch it again. Because mm-hmm. now you know, you know, yeah, you know why they're is. doing shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's like him with like when he's watching movies. Yeah, don't, like, don't, 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 don't watch, yeah. watch it with him. Because he'll start saying, oh, I fucking hate this angle. Like, oh. They should have filmed it like this. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm watching the film, I'm going back to look at the credits. Yeah, yeah. The DOPs, the directors, the executive mm. producers. Even I even go as low as like, even go as high as like, looking at the lenses, the type of lenses and yeah, the cameras right. they use. Yeah. I want to study how things move and mm-hmm. even go watching Easter eggs. I have to watch Easter egg after every single film. It's bad. No, I do that. <laughs> no but we shouldn't be doing that. Should not. Why? Because why are we watching Easter egg if we've, we've, we've literally sat in the cinema for an hour? We should I mean, have it like that. Why, why did they put it in the film then? If we were, no, 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 but Easter eggs is like thing explaining the film as in like, oh, there's a part she must have missed. Mm. I should have got it there. No, I'll, no, I'll no, watch no, it again no, for another thing. No, 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 I'll watch it again for another thing. But then why do you watch multiple Easter matches? Again, like, why do you watch wrestling I, matches I, again? Because, because there's certain things. Because there's, there's, there's some movies where it's like, you're not going to get everything the first, first time. time. So you watch it again. So you watch it but again. But I'd rather watch it again than watch an Easter egg video. But, but you know what it is? I like watching Easter eggs because sometimes there's something as like a filmmaker, mm. as, as, as a viewer, that I didn't get. But then once the filmmaker explains to me, I can go back and be like, let me look out for this okay, now. Yeah. It adds extra context, yeah, in it? certain filmmakers, they have like their codes of convention. They have their, they have a way of like portraying certain things to the viewer mm-hmm. and not everyone will get it. But then when you now go and watch the Easter eggs, it's like, and it, oh, I get it. I understand it. It could be references to like- for Nope? For Nope? Yeah. No, I hate that film. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I haven't yeah. seen the Easter eggs. Yeah, I didn't yeah, like the films. Yeah, yeah. I don't, no, don't, don't watch but I already explained to you. You explained to me about the film shit. I can't look at it when I first saw it. I didn't get it. I'm only going to watch an Easter egg for something if I already, if I'm already invested, you know what I'm saying? So I have the, so I'm already open to seeing new interpretations. If I, if I feel, if I think something is shit, no amount of explanations are going to make me like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe sorry. watch it again. But if something's good, I'm going to expand further. I'm going to sound like the idiot that doesn't know what the fuck you are talking about. <laughs> okay. Okay. What, what is the Easter egg? What so is example, the Easter you've egg? watched, you've watched um, Avatar. <clears throat> right. You watched Director's you watch, commentary. You it and you're like, what was that? So you've now gone, you've now gone to internet. And you're just like, what does Avatar, what, what did that mean? Okay. So there'll be someone on YouTube that will literally break down parts you've missed. Mm. Oh, the guy's head was red in this scene. That, that's the reason why he died like that ah, in that scene. Yeah, Stuff yeah. like that, you see it? Or like a certain t-shirt he's wearing, oh, this is a callback to the comic book com- version com- that he com- wore. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Stuff since like we're on the topic of films and it's a wrestling podcast, has anyone seen Knock at the Cabin? No. Yes. yes. Okay. I watched it. Okay. Yes. What, what's his what, name? What, what? Okay, I've I, I got both to pick. I, I got, <laughs> okay. Do you know what I'm going to say? The, um, what's his name? M. Night Shyamalan, whatever his name is. He's, a f- he's Bray Wyatt. 
He's a fraudulent director. <laughs> he's Bray Wyatt. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm They're not lying to you, man. He's Bray Wyatt. M. Night films here. He's just all he's nods just all tricks. And no, I do not M. Night Shyamalan films are... He's, he's, are, are. he's currently produced... He's currently produced a show called um, The Servant. Yeah. <clears throat> Going great. Oh, that's good. Amazing. I'm on season three now. I'm about to jump off the train. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening now because it's like... There's parts where he's like, done it here. Done it here. It's done. Mm. You save the world. You save. You save the family. Move on. But it's like you've now gone back in it, in again. And it's like, bro, what are we doing what here, fam? Right? M. Night. Yeah. M. Night's a that confusing cap, director. That, I don't that, like him. That Cabin in the Woods film was really. I haven't seen that. Movie. It was, that, that, it was, was something else. One thing, one thing yeah, I will yeah. say, I feel like it's the best performance from a wrestler in Hollywood. Batista. No, Batista's the best actor, yeah. but I don't think his acting in that film was. Do you know what I, mean? I feel I, like it limited him a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it was weird. You know, it was in one area the whole time, but you know. That's is it, everyone made, seen it? Everyone I seen it. I was okay, spoiling, I don't care, I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know. Is it, is it, it worth watching? Yeah. Yeah, it's worth watching. It's worth watching. Maybe. It's worth watching. I mean, Maybe. they said it was a horror. I don't yeah. think it was a horror. I think it was a it psychological was, it was horror. It was funny. Thriller? Someone was funny. Someone was funny. Yeah. Yeah. They laughed. There was parts in the beginning where it was funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, defo, because obviously you're wrestling fans and that's Batista. Defo worth a watch. Defo worth a watch. Yeah, to be Batista honest, that's the only the reason I watched it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, of course. Because yeah. of Batista. If it's Batista, Cena, then Dwayne. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I think everyone should watch it. It's, it's a decent film. Mm. Um, Ron Weasley's in it as well, Ron Weasley. Oh, yeah. Oh, he is, I, I think, forgot about that. I think, I, think, I think he's one of the best, like, because he's in The Servant as well, and he plays like an uncle to the whatever, and he his performance is amazing. There's one that he overdosed on cocaine, innit? But before he even, like, collapsed, yeah, Performance was amazing. Ronald Reed, yeah, yeah. yeah was, but what's his name? Him. I didn't clock it till oh, after. I I could, no, since he came in, yeah. I've not watched Harry Potter. But when he came in, yeah. and he turned around, and I saw the ginger hair. I was like, this head, this head shape looked familiar. Yeah. <laughs> you know, his head shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I was thinking, hmm, okay. But then after, when I saw the credits, I was like, oh shit, that's Ron Weasley. It's Hermione. What's the name again? Emma Watson. Emma Watson. Has she been in the? What's she been doing? Um, she did Beauty and the Beast. So all of the, the, the three men are the three the three of them are shining right now. No, so so so. Uh, you, what's that guy's name? What's Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's in that um. What's it? Swiss Army man. Like, yeah. That? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, what a lot of these men do that that are ma- major like marquee franchises they downsize in it. So like they don't want like some of them don't want to be in something as high profile as Harry Potter. So they'll do smaller roles in it. Yeah. Cause they're still like Broadway. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause yeah, that's cause, cause, cause they get residual well. checks from Harry Potter for the rest of their life. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They, they they can afford to do something mm-hmm. and also scheduling as well. They don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they don't so. want to be typecast in that kind of film as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, things things in Broadway now. Um, we saw you have week. Remember Cheryl Cole? Cheryl, my name is called Cheryl Cole. Cheryl Cole. Her and Max Brennan. Okay. Oh, so they're, they're oh, the, I want to watch it. That's Brennan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's James. Yeah, that's Brennan. Yeah, that's Oh, yeah, we did, we did, we did. Huh? I think it's, what's his name? Jake, well, I'm saying. Yeah, Jake, 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 he's a good actor. But I'm not sure what's at, though. So how's that going to, I don't know, let's see. It's, it's theatre, so she might, it must be good, isn't it? Matt is Brennan, yeah, man. That's crazy. But for theatre, she might be going to Hollywood now, bro. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone still watch EastEnders? No. Only, only I watched it on um, Christmas. Christmas, one Christmas, of them. When they went off the cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Danny die on that? Is he, is he alive? Did he, did he, did he... I don't even no, know. No, he came at the end, though. Yeah, no, Janine died. Janine died. Janine she's still there. there. She's Janine, still there. Janine Cronaut no, died. Janine Cronaut Janine, died. Janine, Janine's died about ten times in this fucking movie. No, but not just yeah, She's done the take-off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's done the take-off. Yeah, but, um, and everyone in East Tennis is a serial killer at this point. Oh, yeah. Everyone's, yeah, everyone's, everyone's got an M record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone's, everyone's a serial killer. Match. Everyone's killed someone. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of killing, let's talk about how WWE killed Elimination Chamber. Oh, yeah. Great, great show. Okay. Yeah, man. That was... I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I was disappointed with the ending because I felt the way that arena, that vibe, the atmosphere, the fans, electricity, everything. It was made for Sammy. It was made. Yeah, it was made 100%. for Sammy, man. If Sammy would have won, you would have been disappointed in Roman. You would have been like, yeah. where's the hell is the story going to go now? Yeah, I know. But, but like, then that could, like, and also, do where you, does he go now? You know what do I mean? You, do you right? really like, want to see... Oh, do you really want to see Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns? Like, um, um, Cody Rhodes versus Sami Zayn no. at WrestleMania. But this is what I was Not saying. Me. <laughs> Roman could have won it at SmackDown. Just let him have it. Nah, for that if you're gonna, if you're, if you're, if you're, I hear it. Just, no, 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 no. If you're gonna take the title off Roman, you can't. You, 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 you can't do a chuckle yeah. brothers to me take you like you yeah. can't like I said for me I wouldn't mind the triple threat no fuck, fuck. Oh, they, they can't do that threat. again right surely yeah, they that's can't what do I'm that saying. again they've right. reused so they've, many no, times. they've reused triple threat too many times as singles mm, match here's yeah, the yeah. thing about Sammy yeah 
as as a feel good moment, it would have been epic, yeah. But I don't think like they've built like they've built the story to the moment in terms of like our oh, Sammy's. But in terms of like Sammy Zayn as a competitor, mm-hmm. we were having this conversation before before the podcast. Like Sammy Zayn ain't done nothing in terms of like prove himself as a credible challenger. Yeah, it's more so from a story perspective. Yeah, it's a it would be a good heartfelt moment. But it's like I don't know. I don't believe Sammy as a wrestler. Yeah. Like, and not to say him, like, his ability wise, because uh, Sami Zayn's cold. He's an amazing wrestler, but just in the context of what. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they haven't built him to that. So for me, it's like. Eh. I'll be honest. Eh. I, I wouldn't would, would, would even, would even argue on this matter. They, they, anyway. they, they've done a great job in getting us emotionally invested. They oh, That's 100%. all it is. I mean, Roman's yeah, yeah. finally a hill. Yeah. You see, everyone, every you, Roman you, show, everyone's got their ones up. But that one. No, but really, anyone no, has no, a no. hill in Montreal. Let him come out on SmackDown. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> saying, we yeah, yeah. 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 one. <laughs> I got um, this. Is what I was saying before the podcast as well. I got um, Mankind versus Rock Vibes on Raw mm. with that arena. I thought Kale was gonna come out, hit him with a chair, hit him with a stunner. Sammy wins, whatever. Mm. There were so many theories I had. I was saying this before. Oh, what Cody's, you know, pissed that you know Sammy's in the limelight <sighs> now. Cody crossroads on um, Sammy. Roman wins, or KO comes out. Can't trust KO. Stun Sammy. Let's Roman win. I don't know. I had so many theories, and obviously the J one and whatnot. So but... you know how obviously like the the recurring theme of Roman matches is bloodline come out. What well, Roman's oh, bloodline comes out. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. Sammy's gonna be back in the story. Yeah. It's not mm-hmm. when Sammy faces Cody. I feel like the bloodline are gonna come out, but then there's gonna be people like Sammy, Kevin Owens, and maybe even Jey Uso to like counteract the bloodline so yeah. to stop the bloodline interfering in the match because there's got to be people because the main thing when we get to um, Roman versus Cody is okay like who's going to stop the bloodline from interfering like they have this whole time and I feel like it's going to be people like Sammy people like Jay who've been slighted by Roman it's going to be basically the people Roman fucked over like being be, be, being the wall of defence and making Roman versus um, Cody a clean match mm-hmm. and then that's how Cody wins Yeah, Cody's yeah. not winning the mania yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I agree, now. bro. After, I agree. After the Cody Elimination Chamber win, just let Roman still win. I'm man. sorry, Cody has to win at Mania. They have to restart oh, this oh, universe. It's okay, bro. Oh. Restart you know, the universe. Like, okay. Look, look, look. <laughs> I, I, I won't lie like to you. Yeah, I won't lie like to you. Yeah, the way they've over, the way they've put Roman Reigns over. With the type of caliber of of, pon- of opponents, mm. you really think Cody Rhodes? Ah, oh, hundred no, 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 percent. No, 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 I mean, no, because I feel like the story, there's still more to the story. Yeah. But, 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 okay, yeah. okay. Roman needs to hold the title for I don't even think Jay is gonna, gonna turn on Roman yet. Anytime soon. I think mm. they're gonna be Kevin and, I think it's gonna be and Kevin and, and Sammy. Sammy. Do, that's Kevin that's and Sammy versus Jay. Jay has to be the one to def- get the title, right? What? To, what? to defeat Roman. That's, you reckon? that's what I was saying. I, I fancy but, that. Okay, um, okay, yeah. how long, okay, do you, do you think this story has like what another year of legs in it? Hundred percent. Yeah. Do you do I, you want I, I another I year? Yeah, you reckon? I mean, WWE is not my thing in it, so I don't really mm. care. At this point, every week I just tune. I watch highlights to see Roman. I'll be real. Do, do, and do see you, the bloodline yeah, story. For me, yeah. for me, I can see Roman going two thousand days, three thousand. Okay. Days. For me, it's, it's, yeah, that, it's yeah. that real. For you me, a story. Yeah. For me, yeah. yeah. No, for for, for me, yeah, a story's as good as its conclusion in it, and as great as this is, if it's just a forever thing. I might tune out. Like, I, obviously, I'm not a fan of the product anyway, but for me, you it tune? just feels like yeah. overkill. You're right. If the, it, the, the, there was a point last year where we tuned out. Do you remember? Was like, yeah, everyone tuned out. But mm. it's when WWE are throwing little spanners in the work. You see? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like the story. Like, like, I feel like. I feel like. If you if you say to me, till SummerSlam. I can digest it. I can't digest it. Another mania. So I can't do that, bro. Yeah. Like, I feel. I feel like that's. Oh, that, that's mad overkill, bro. Because at this. Because at this point, yeah. At this point, yeah. It's like, what? What the fuck is everyone else gonna do? They gotta split the titles. That's what I'm saying. What the? Like, what the fuck is everyone else gonna do? I can't lie. I saw a video that Roman posted on his TikTok. Yeah. He's only flexed the titles like this. Oh, the titles. It's so cold. It's so cold. I hear it, but like, Jay Uso's gonna fight Roman. Like, it's like, especially, yeah. Especially if we want, like, we'll get to the main, the elimination chamber match. But especially if you want guys from that um elimination chamber to start flourishing and doing things. Not everyone needs to compete for the. Not everyone needs to win the title. But like, I just feel like if Roman holds the title again for another year, 
what the fuck is everyone else doing? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'm not Elevating telling them. themselves. Yeah, because I'll tell you, that's, that's what's happening that's now. Elevating <laughs> okay, okay, it, it, no one, no one, for me, no one in that roster <sighs> can be champion right now. Intercontinental, Intercontinental and USA, um, USA that don't work the scene me, is man. like, it's popping, that I can't lie. But then, like I said, everyone at the moment, besides Ali, they all look good in WWE. Look, I just want to say, I just want to say one thing, Seth, not being biased, Seth needs to be WWE champion. Right. Yeah. Like I, I, he's I, the I, only I, one who has who's anyway. beaten yeah. Roman. Like, you know what I mean? I thought they'll split the titles, leave Roman with the Universal, because that's the nine hundred days, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, Seth. I don't know. I don't know. Seth needs to be. He's the, the only champion. one the right now. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He's a, he's over more than what Cody is. Mm. Rollins. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Finish the story. Do you know what? Finish the story. No, I'm on his side. No, I'm on his side. I'm on his side. Thank you, bro. I'm on his. I'm on his side. I'm on his side. Okay. Okay. Bro, listen to the crowd. Now I'm gonna offer Easter eggs. Give me the Easter eggs. Give me the Easter eggs. <laughs> that I say, see Cody, yeah. It's a cliche story. It's the Cinderella story, right? Finish the story. Yeah. But Roman is God mode. He's like the, you know, he's like the the big guy. You know, you play a video game. Final final, final boss, chapter. Yeah, the the final big boss. boss. Yeah, yeah. He's that guy, yeah. I need to get more from the story. I need to see Cody struggle. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I need to see. Yeah. Fucking and when Cody struggles and makes me want to see him champion. Then yeah, I mean the Paul Heyman promo was sick on Raw, you know, mm -hmm. talking about his family, this and that, making it personal. Maybe they can sell it to me in, in what, 40 days, however long it is, 50 days. But yeah, I'm the, after the Elimination Chamber main event and I saw Sammy, the atmosphere in the arena, everything like that, now I just want Roman to beat Cody. Do you, you know, know what it is? Wait, wait, wait. You know, I, you know I, what? I, think, I think what it is is you're not emotionally invested into Cody right now. I'm emotionally invested into Cody, <sighs> do, man. Do, do you know what it's for me? Do you know what it's for me? This is for he has to fulfill his legacy. He's the mm. protocol what son. Legacy, yes. No, 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 no. Leave it. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me pick you back. Legacy. Cool. In terms of emotional investment, in terms of struggle, yeah, I look at it from more of like a career perspective. That's Cody why has that struggled. Yeah. I get it. A lot of people yeah. will say that he hasn't yeah. struggled because he's just come in. He he was number thirty. He came in he had two three, two three stardust, matches. Ripped bro. his back. But for me, I look at it from I look at from a point. I look at I look from a point where it's like cool. He has been in WWE. He has been through the ups and downs of being on the card. He's left. He's he's bet on himself and he's become a, a mega star. Like he is unlike it, like, I've not seen a wrestler ever do this before. Leave a company and bet on themselves and be like, yo, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take my own direction and I'm gonna make this into something. He's made a proper name for himself, eh? Yeah. Bro, he's made a proper name for himself. He's killed it. He's yeah. McIntyre. Hmm? No, well, it's not the same. Are you as all right? Well, McIntyre didn't, didn't, didn't go through the same thing. Through the same thing. No, he did. Did. No, no, yes, he did. Yes, he did. No, the guy no, was. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. So, wait, are you telling me McIntyre's indie run was as good as Cody's indie run? No, it wasn't. So it what's talking about? No, 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 talking about? One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. The match you're telling me doesn't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm saying this. You can't compare the two. You can't. I'm not. Okay, what I'm saying is, yeah. In terms of McIntyre, McIntyre went through that same struggle as well. No, when he no. when he left WWE, who the fuck was Drew McIntyre? Black and Blacks. Who was he even? Let, let, what was no, he doing? No, what was he doing? I, 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 hear, really you, really I, I hear you. No, you're Cody you're... was doing all of this stardust and all that. Yeah, lovely. No, and, and he went and he went and he, and he went to um, he went to um, you know he won every title or done everything he needed to do and now he's back in WWE. Lovely. But McIntyre done the same thing. No, guess what? He became champion. But McIntyre he grinded. But the thing, the difference. But McIntyre's story was never about finishing the story. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. McIntyre from the get go. Yes, no, yes, the way we yes, McIntyre, McIntyre right, from the right, get go right, was Vince right. McMahon. Like, listen, this is my son. This is the prodigal son. This is my future champion. No, but there was. We've always struggle. looked at. We, there was a struggle because to a point where it was that McIntyre was a boring guy. Yes. But with Cody, Cody was never ever looked at like, yeah, this is Dusty. He was. Stuff. He's gonna be the one. We ne nobody bro, ever looked at him like that. Bro, Ted DiBiase Jr. was meant to be the one. Mm. Let's, nah, be right, Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be real, come on, man. Let's be real. Cody was yeah. never meant to be the, I, I, meant to be who he is today. Cody has gone out and he's made himself who he is. So. I get it when people are saying I don't see the struggle, but for me as a fan, I look at it from a retrospective angle of like I've what seen this Cody's guy come from, from when he was, his whole career. That's yeah, from when he was tied with Hardcore Holly mm -hmm. to where he is now, he has struggled and. Oh, you want to talk to Hardcore Holly? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah bro, that's because nice. bro, bro, remember, remember the interest that Cody got at Mania, yeah. If you're telling me, yeah, when he was Stardust, he'd ever get a moment like that. Any nobody on this table can ever imagine Cody as fucking Stardust mm -hmm. having a moment like that at WrestleMania where he comes out and everyone's going ballistic. 
Cody Rhodes, the man who's wearing the fucking face mask and shit, exfoliating his skin. You can't tell me that. But when Cody left the company and then bet on himself, joined the Bullet Club, literally, he's the reason why he's one of the reasons why fucking AW even exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're that's, right. That's, he's the reason why fucking AW even exists. Yeah, yeah, so to to build another company, then to come back home again, the the first person from AW to jump ship to WWE mm. and to do the and to win over this audience who Quite frankly, a lot of WWE audience don't like AW. So it, 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 <laughs> are you yeah, smoking yeah, yeah, yeah. bud? Everyone stand. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Chat to your boy, please. Chat to your boy. Chat to your boy. Chat to your boy. No, no, no. Just because that's one you're on the problem. Max just told you that his merch sold out at Rumble. Sam, did you not know hear what happened last week? Wait, was it the week after? The week before last week? Okay. Bro, the arena was so loud. When they said, oh! Oh, bro, everyone sang it in unison. They do, they do an assembly. Bro, they had a <laughs> fucking counter. Bro, for the big up, I don't really know, we're not this Sam, type of podcast. For the big up Sam, ratings, Sam, 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 Cody I'm ratings. I'm your boy, I love you so much. Be real with me. Be real. Cody is a draw. Turn it on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I love you so much. Come on, man. There's no need to be... Um, tell him, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Say love him. Say love him first. Say love him. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. Tell the truth. So, so the Cody struggles with the fucking truth. So, so to me, yeah, Cody, number one face in the company. Yeah. Now, it was up until, <laughs> it was up until Sammy came about. The only reason I want to see Cody struggle is just because of the Sammy thing. That's it. Like, before Cody was injured and whatnot, Hell in a Cell, I thought, yeah, he's coming back to the Rumble. He's going to beat Reigns at Mania. That's it. It's just because of what happened with Sammy mm. and how over Sammy is. Now, one thing I will give, like, this whole storyline and everything, yeah? So, everyone thought that the fans were going to turn on Cody and they're going to want Sammy there, yeah? Since... So, uh, Cody's come back, the fans are still popping for Cody. Yeah, okay. because yeah. 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 To somebody, he hasn't brought the crowd over, but I mean, so that's this guy's still happening. Flipping GCW fans. This guy's not watching. Oh, <laughs> this guy's no. not watching. Fuck you. Know what? Do you know what is? You know what is? You know what is? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm blind to the bullshit, man. I I I get it. I get it. If you lot, okay. It's not even you know it's for me. You know it's for me. You know it's for me. It's, it's, corny, isn't it? Speak to the it's not even just corny. It's not even just corny. I've not seen enough for me. I've not seen enough. Forget about the old stuff. What you do now, in WWE? No, you from from when? Back, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So why the hell does he need to go to the into the main spot? Wait, 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 wait. No, but Sam, Drew McIntyre's Sam, different. Sam, but Drew McIntyre's Sam, different. Sam, Sam, uh, that's what I was telling you before. You still fucking Sam, what is no, but he went through that struggle. Sam, what is he done? Sam, what is he done? What's he done? He just want to. He just want to rumble, bro. Okay. I forget the Rumble stuff, Here's the, the Seth stuff, bro. The Seth stuff, yeah? Resting on a torn peck. Bro, that's yeah, what I sold it. I respect it. Torn peck. I respect that, it. I'm, I'm that, not disrespecting that's it. That's what sold it for me. Bro, that's what selling sold out his me. merch. You know, if you, went, if you were injured, maybe I might have been sold a bit more. But I've not seen enough. How can how can you not tell tell bro, me for me well, to believe something? Man has been injured in the past. Come back at Royal Rumble and, and still and, and no, you John Cena. John Cena. No, that's different. No, that's different. John Cena's already had a career when he's killed it. So obviously when he's been injured and he's come back. Well, you, the struggle that you want to see. Well, not the WWE. You're watching WWE. WWE. I don't know. In WWE, I don't know. In WWE, I don't know. In WWE, I don't know. Why do you cap? In WWE, I don't know. Why do you cap? Hey, what was what Sam's nickname? Mr. Controversial. No, but no, no. That's the controversy. No, because this is a lie. This is a this is a gift from God. This is a destroy. This is a destroy everything. Destroy everything. Uh, you, you already know that I'm always going to oppose Cody. No, but I Sam, just, I, just, I, just I just don't like him. I just don't like him. boy, as my boy, yeah. I love you so much. No, but you. He's going to be real. Be real. No, no, but Is he got buff or not? Huh? Is he got buff or not? Huh? If they got buff or not, that's the question I'm gonna ask you. Be real with me. <laughs> be real with me. <laughs> no, it's because it was a draw. I, know, I can't even <laughs> answer that question. <laughs> it's because it was a draw. Huh? It's it was a draw. No, not to you in general. Oh, oh, not to you, you, not to you. Why are you so that's scared? That's what I'm talking No, no, that's what I'm asking. Is it got buff or not? Is she buff? Has she got back? Let me know. Because <laughs> you're not that wrestler that's meant to. I don't know anything. Number one, one of the girls. Is it got buff? I'm a hater. No, I'm because, a hater. I'm a hater. You can say it. I can't take it. You can say it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I'll sacrifice it. You two sacrifice yours. Hey, I'm going to sacrifice the cap. Be honest with me. Be honest with me. Be honest. Sam, it's Cody was a draw. I want you to admit for today. Look, how long we got left? We've got, what? Another 40 minutes. Left. Come on, let yeah, me know, please. Before we move on, before you move on, please. You He's a draw, bro. Don't lie. Please, Sam, just admit, please, for the sake of everyone, please. We're we'll going to WrestleMania in nearly what three weeks now. I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need my podcast. I need my podcast. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Uh, fuck it, yeah, he is a star. He is a star. Yeah, and you know star, what? And you know what? He's a star. He is a draw. He is a draw. That's but it, yeah. 
For me! Ah. Yeah, for me! That's it, for black! For me! No, 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 no. Nah! The name has nah. to be bleeping this out. I don't give a shit. Move it on, move it on. We're gonna cut it. Move it on. I'm gonna phone copy it. Move on, move on. Move on. Move on. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, let's Luigi, quickly um do the rest right. of the card. Let's quickly do the rest of the card. Um, Oscar won um, the Elimination Chamber. Yeah, um, yeah. For a championship did. match. Mm-hmm. Uh, Expected. Um, Bobby mm-hmm. Lashley beat Brock Lesnar via disqualification. How does everyone feel about that? What the fuck? You know, you know the thing is, yeah. Where the fuck was Bray? Well, that's, what I, that's what I was that's thinking. What I thought. I'm thinking, where's yeah. Bray? Bray? Why did I see Bray? Bray has enough chunks on the You lied to me, man. 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 What's going to be like this when Bray comes in? Why wasn't Bray involved in this? That's what I was waiting for the whole time. Yeah, I was waiting for Bray. I was like, okay, this match is going to be a quick, fast paced match. But where the fuck are you, Bray? Also, like, him just Bobby winning by DQ. Like, what the fuck was that? Like, seriously. If you're going to end the feud, if this is going to end the feud, like, this is the third one. Let's right, watch like, a really low blower, Donny. Like, yeah. really? Like, I get, I, mean, I really understand that he, got, he got trapped, you know, he's in the hurt lock and he can't get out. At least pass but, out. Fucking hell. Right. Right. I'd rather yeah, that. Okay, pass it. The mission looks strong still. Yeah. But low blowing is a bit like, did he back kick? I didn't watch yeah, that. Yeah, back kick. Yeah, he back kicked his back kick. yeah, yeah, nuts, mate. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like this. It's like Bobby Lashley's got bad luck with Brock Lesnar. When they meet, Bobby Lashley loses. Mm-hmm. In the Elimination Chamber, Bobby Lashley gets a headache. He's concussed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bro, good every time he's just got the crown jewel one was an exception. I think Mania might be the the actual final. Do you know how? Oh, yeah, 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 we got the we got that trilogy of matches between Goldberg and Brock Lesnar? Yeah. Yeah. And two of the matches were shit. Then that final match where. Oh, the No. Yeah, we might get no, that. No, that when um Goldberg came back, the first match was sick. No, 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 when no, Goldberg no, no, first no, came no, back, no, no, no. I, I, that I, I, was I lit. I say it's not lit, but the reason why it I, is I mean, so it was lit, good, but I mean, but I it's because Lesnar was so unstoppable. Yeah, yeah and when yeah, Goldberg did that, that, I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, because of you don't be. When it comes to Goldberg, you don't be because of Goldberg. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, look, I'll be real with you. I liked it, but I felt like the fight, the final match they had when it was a proper like. Um, that was a good match. I like that one better. Mm. But yeah. That, that that obviously brought some realism to wrestling as well. You see in MMA all the time, like people get knocked out in ten seconds, boxing people get knocked out in ten seconds. Mm. That's what I liked about that one. Yeah. But that mania match they had was fucking sick. It was ten minutes. I remember it was like a five hour show. Yeah, just, I was tired just, as well. Yeah. And that match just woke me up. There was electricity in yeah, the arena. Just fighting. You know, it was just fight. It was just a pure fight. Just finishers, pawn finishers. Mm. That was a sick match. I'm that was a sick that. match. We all just but, wish it happened fifteen years earlier. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Edge of Free next defeat the Judgment Day. That was a fun match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a fun I enjoyed match, that. Right? I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, Austin Theory defeated Bronson Reed, Damien Priest, Johnny Gargano. That was cool. Montez Ford. That was good. Yeah, I think that might be my, my third favourite Elimination yeah. Chamber I've ever seen. Hey, the way, the way Montez Ford came out yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. That, he's a star. He's a star. He is a star. He's a star. He is a star. I don't think he's a star yet. I think that he's on his way to be a star. Everyone looks good enough. Everyone looks amazing. Everyone did. Everyone did. Even Johnny Gargano. I need to ask him. Yeah, why, yeah, why, why did Logan Paul interfere? What, what's the yeah. story? Um, yeah. um, did you not watch Rumble? Yeah, we're on board. Him and Seth. Yeah, Seth, Seth, he, Seth he threw Seth out. That's he probably them. Oh, it's yeah, probably yeah, going yeah, to yeah. be them. And they've been teasing. They've been teasing. They've been teasing yeah. for a while. So, okay. so, so I can't lie. He should have came out earlier, though. No, you know what I was thinking. Do you remember when Shawn Michaels came out from underneath? Underneath. Super underneath. Kick? I thought yeah, 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 yeah. But they can't do that with those shit pads. Oh yeah, yeah, it's true. This is like the chamber is the fucking worst because it's like just so shit. Yeah, it's too protective. Yeah, it's overproduced. We want brutality. Oh, it looks like we want get onto back in the day when it first came through. Production later. When it first came through, it was like this. It's not scary. Four miles of steel. Do you remember, do you remember, yeah. you know? do you remember yeah. the first time it was You know, and it's like, yeah. fuck, like, this is shit. Elimination Chamber used to be scary. Like, yeah. they used to sell it like, this demonic structure. Uh, yeah. Like, it used to be. The, the vignettes and the beat and the steel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was sick. Yeah. Now I'm that seeing yoga sick. pads on the floor. Yeah. Does that oh, make sense? Bad, yeah. right. And when, the bumps when, they take. I like, always used to feel for wrestlers. You're rather than we see the Rolling Thunder here. It's the line of the ring. The oh. 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 Back. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. That, bro, that, that, that that's body a drop. Forced, it's that's a serious. forced oh. massage. You see? Yeah. Forced you see when they put their face through the, through yeah, the like steel? Yeah. Yeah. Pull it! Like, if, you watch, if you watch all the ones back when they had the chains on the floor, Triple H loves bumping on that shit. He loves it. Yeah. That's why I love, I love fighting oh, looks, blood, that key. Like Do you know what I loved about that chamber? <laughs> was, uh, in the pod, who was uh, doing a strike off in the pod? Was it Seth and Gargano? Oh, Seth Gargano. Yes. Yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah. fucking cool. That was, yeah. 
Yeah, that was. That well, was that was a great time. chamber match. It was a good chamber match. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was I, I just can't stand the actual layout of the chamber. Yeah, I, I don't I, like I, it. I can't do it anymore. You know, like it's too PG, man. Yeah, bro. Overpro- anyway, I'm going to talk about it. Right. Uh, let's quickly <laughs> go on to um, New Japan Battle in the Valley. Has everyone seen it? Yes. yes. Oh, um, I'm sorry, um, I couldn't watch the full thing, but I watched Jay White versus Eddie Kingston. I probably enjoyed that match. I also watched them Mercedes Monet and um, Curry. Uh, Curry, yeah, Curry same match. It was yeah. Oh, that was a great match. I, yeah, it was it yeah. good? Like, I, I enjoyed I didn't, I didn't it. Was, it was it was all right. It was all right. But whoa, Miss um, Thingy, um, I was going to shout about it. Mercedes Monet, she's a star. Oh, oh yeah, of yeah. course. Oh, of course. Yeah. Do the she's dances money, in the ring. Do the yeah. dances, yeah. yeah. People were cheering. Bro. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone. Yeah, 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 she's she's dancing, man. The dancing, man. The dancing, man. The dancing, man. Don't give me the ick, man. I can't lie. I like times. Since I saw the dancing, I said, I'm talking about this, man. I feel like I'm watching TikTok or something. But the match was good, though. The second part of the song, I don't understand it. Just give us the second part. Yeah, when the beat dropped and she came out, I was like, okay, cool. I, like, I, I prefer the second yeah. bit of the beat, not this crisscross. This crisscross rip No, but I feel like the, the match was good. The match was very good. I'm just excited. Obviously, um, after the match. Um, Hona Kada. That was a, that's a good visual. Uh, yeah, you know, the, oh, uh, the, yeah, oh, no, Azumi yeah, called her out. Yeah, yeah. Azumi yeah. called her out. Um, Azumi, an Azu, Azumi is somebody from stardom. She's, I think she's the high speed champion right now. She's someone to look out for. Like Azumi is so, she's only twenty years old. Okay, now nah, yeah. I mean I mean not drunk. Azumi, um, she, it, has she been over? Is she? No, no, no. She's only twenty. She hasn't come. No, no. no. What, what's she wear? Jacket like a leather jacket? No. Was she, she on that Stardom she, card that I watched with Julia? That like, mashed up that girl. Like it was recently. She was probably like, there, but she but but she was probably in the high speed she in the high speed title match because she's high speed champion. Right. High speed championship is basically fast, fast wrestling, right? super fast paced wrestling, like back is that, on. Is that, is that Lucha? Is that same as Lucha though? Um, Lucha does that quite fast, right? Kind, of, I mean, kind of, but yeah, kind of, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, Zumi's a really really talented work work on. I'm very excited to see. I'm just I'm just excited excited to see Mercedes tangle with a lot of these girls. Obviously, in the first part of the match, I noticed a bit of ring rust. I can't lie, but really, really? I noticed it. I noticed it I in the beginning. Like she started off the match quite good. That um, the mm. arm drag into the um, what, what, face was quite nice. No, that was in the that was to the was the middle in the middle when they were trying to do sequences and stuff. Oh, okay. I yeah, noticed yeah. a bit yeah. of like hesitancy and stuff like that, but it happens, innit? it? Like, especially if you're working with like she's worked with Carrie before, but like, yeah. But what? Oh, yeah. What, when it got delivered, it was nice. No, yeah. when she yeah. um, money maker. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, when she hit yeah, the money maker, yeah. I was like. Yeah, like I, I, I'm enjoying this. I have a question: Is her finisher still that one where she gets you on her back? And yeah, but no, but yeah, she but hit it properly. Well, well, she hit well, it properly. Yeah, yeah. She smooth, hit, she hit it properly smooth. this time. But yeah, I'm excited. Listen, I can't lie. Like I said, I think Stardom has easily got the most talented women's division in wrestling. So when she tangles up with certain people, I'm very excited she, to see. But she did mention that she's not. She's gonna go. She's a free agent, right? So she yeah. can literally go to anywhere. Yeah, yeah. AW, but, yeah, yeah. CMO. Where, where, where do you want to see her next? Like, um, obviously she can't do TJPW because that's um a New Japan's competitor. But I don't know. I'm not really familiar with other um scene like women's division scenes outside of this. I don't really know if we'll see them. I would do. I wouldn't mind seeing that impact. You know, the impact women's divisions. It's not bad. It's not, it's, not bad. bad. it's not bad. But for me, like personally speaking, I'm just I mean, obviously she's gonna do other stuff. But where she's at right now, and she, the women she's gonna work with in stardom, I'm telling you, if they keep her wrestling consistently. She's gonna have an amazing year. Mm. Like, trust me, that women's yeah. division is stacked. What's the coverage of Stardom? When do they when wrestle? Is it weekly? No, it's similar to like all the other Japanese uh, so that's companies. Nice. They're on tours in it. It's not necessarily a weekly show. Okay. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Um, Jay White's leaving New Japan. Yeah. Where's he gonna go? I mean, WWE. Right, I thought WWE was the right place for him. Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm on, if I'm honest, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think the Eddie Kingston match was necessary. I felt like he should. I, f- I, f- I felt like he should have just lost Nikolayo and call it a day because I feel like him and Nikolayo have a more, um, like storyline wise, they're they're much more connected. They're both Bullet Club. Do you know what I'm saying Nikolayo was the kind of the guy was Jay White's heavy for a lot of the time. Like <coughs> ending the story that way, and, the, and I love the way they ended that match where it was like Jay White put the two sweet sign and Nikolayo two sweeted him back. Like that was like the perfect um cap to his career. Um, in New Japan, obviously, I'm a miss him in Japan, but I kind of, I kind of get this bittersweet feeling of Jay White on paper did a lot, like he was a Grand Slam champion, but I don't think he had that that run, that that iconic Jay White run, where like I feel like other guys and other wrestlers have had in New Japan, where it's like this is a particular time period where you can say Jay White was the man. I don't think he had that in New Japan. He was pretty red hot when he had the IWJP Championship, though, like the heavyweight, like. 
he was like, yeah. oh, it's unstoppable. That's mm. at that point, you know, and that's when they had the forbidden door, fatal four way, which ah. kind of fell flat. Oh, yeah, as in last year? Last year, no. See, that was terrible. I feel like his run um, peaked when he done when he actually won the title and he yes. done his speech. Since mm. then, his run Since, because his shit, actual man. title run was terrible. He only had like one or two t- defenses. I was just, yeah, he's mainly in Mongolian matches. See, I just loved his promos throughout it all. Oh, like his oh, promo, I mean, his promos, promos work is, oh, yeah, is yeah, always yeah. good. But like, because I feel like, because when he first won the title, when he first won the title, I think it was off Tanahashi, or I, I believe when he first won the title, when he came in, when he had, before he had the beard and stuff, like there was a lot of potential with him, and I feel like. I don't know. He's, he's just never had that. Like, and I and I'm, I don't put that solely on him. But I don't think New Japan have truly given him the ball the way they've given other guys the ball. Like AJ yeah, yeah. had like a mad run. Mm. Is that because AJ is well seasoned, as in he and people know AJ? Mm. Like, no, even, but yeah. even at the time when Okada first won the title, he wasn't seasoned. Like, he wasn't seasoned. Mm. He still had a good. And run. also, but, when sorry, what, what, first one was that? Um, but obviously, his first. He just come from excursion when he first won the title, and he won it. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. that. And also when AJ came, if you look at when AJ came in, bro, the car didn't know who the fuck he was. Like, like, really? seriously, no, no, seriously, when you go, but seriously. When I, when I watch the weekend, it sounds like there's a bit of a pop though. No, there was, bro, then, bro, when you watch New Japan, bro, if you, when you go, cause he came, debuted at Dominion, bro, the promo was shit. Like, and I love AJ. When AJ first AJ's debuted- not really a promo kind of, really. No, no, no. Uh, when AJ first came into New Japan, it was like, he had to win over the, fa- when he won over the fans, he was clear, but like, when AJ first came in, it was it wasn't like because the thing the thing is obviously like there are stars who are stars globally, but Japan's very like even as a culture they're very insular. Like they care about what they care about, especially their own like wrestling. Especially as well. with their yeah, own wrestling, yeah, yeah. they like, care. New Japan about, fans love New Japan. New Japan, they, Noah they, fans love Noah. Yeah. AJPW fans love Japan. AJPW. So they don't really care what you like, what you've done elsewhere. What are you doing for me here? So when AJ came in, he still had to prove something and then he proved it. Do you know what I'm saying? And obviously Bullet Club took off and Red Tear Tear. And I feel like there's been, when you compare him to like other Gaijins, it's like, and I'm not putting the blame solely on Jay, but he, he, I just don't think he was given the materials to cook for a long period of time. He's always been stop and start. When he first came in, he was coming off the heels of Kenny Omega and people started comparing him to Kenny. And then that that he couldn't watch that funk of him for a long period of time then the pandemic hit which wasn't fair on him again and i just feel like he's had these stop and start moments in it so i feel like him going to wwe will be and obviously like but i'm with bullet club bullet club is fucking stale and giving him that faction was almost a death sentence towards the end because that faction is dead um so him going to wwe i feel like is the place for him because i feel like WWE could use a character like jy aw got a lot of shit to sort up with their locker room yep. so please not there and i love aw but not there so WWE, I feel like fresh start. You can go there and do something. He can be pretty big there too. Oh, yeah. very big. Oh, well, I can, I can always, I can, look, I'm always, whenever a wrestler goes over, I can always imagine the wrestling figures that this person will collect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can see bare different. Bro, the do you know the ultimate w- collection? The WWE 2K DLC. Bro, did, oh, but shit, nah, that's, by, by the way, quick, 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 quick announcement. WWE 2K23 are now sponsoring. WrestleMania now, so... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's, okay, that's okay, that is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got to ask, Jay White can never step foot in Japan. If he steps foot, he's got five stars yeah, he, on him immediately. Nah. <laughs> Basically, yeah, he, 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 Japan match. Yeah, he yeah. lost, wouldn't lose Japan, then he lost, wouldn't, wouldn't he, he, then he lost, um, really? loser lives, leaves Japan, New Japan, so he's gone. Like, in yeah. kayfabe, he's so gone. Now he has to only go to like uh, North America. I mean, he could come yeah. after a couple of years, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. three, in three yeah. months' time, he could come back, you know? He left He left a shadow of his head in a Wrestling fans have short attention spans, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> how, how how would how would WWE so, introduce JY? I love put, the US Open Challenge. Yeah, yeah. someone someone that said it on Twitter. Cool. Bigger the person yeah. I said on Twitter. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like introducing him to like the US title picture immediately, mm-hmm. or like you put him in good stead. I feel like put, putting him. Who's who's aside from that? Who who says a hot baby face right now? In, WWE. In WWE. Other than Cody. What's Sammy. Sammy. Sammy Zayn. Apparently, yeah. apparently Bray Wyatt. No, Bray, Bray and Karen Kar- Kar- Cross are baby faces. Huh? Karen Cross? Hot. He's doing that. He's doing that. Right. Is he right. number one heel? Just put him in front. No, no, no. But someone, 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 someone wrote into it. Someone said apparently they're. they're put, put, him, put him. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't really. Know, I, I've not really studied. Jay White's a heel, by the way. Just saying. So what? I don't, I don't know who's who will go against. Maybe a McIntyre or, or Sheamus. Him versus McIntyre. That's a good shout. Him versus McIntyre. I don't know. I don't know. If you're talking about, if you're talking about a baby face, then yeah. He's a count. He's a counter attacking wrestler. He's 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 um 
uh, what's it called? Explosive, like the way you like, like yeah. quick. So like, okay. it's, it's, it's not okay. like it's not like, he, like him. He's not he's not like a Seth. He's not like a Kenny. He's more so like what he, what the the layout of his matches is that the be, he he's best when he's countering an opponent. So like. Like let's say he's great. When a babyface has loads of momentum, he will do like a quick move to kill their momentum. Okay. Like he's yeah. good at that. Like, okay, so for see, example, see, someone agrees see, with you. Someone like I you see, kind of like Orton. Please, I beg you, please. Yeah. please. So it's like Orton <laughs> doing the DDT, then the snap. He kills legs, momentum. He stops that. He like, kills yeah. momentum. If I'm wrong as well, please tell me. Please tell me. He kind of reminds me of you. The way he wrestles, yeah, a bit like Jake the Snake. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake the Snake stops momentum. Yeah, like even when he lays down, even when he lays down, he's like that. Bro, cheeky, like he's, yeah, he's just he's, he's just shit. The stuff, the it's the stuff yeah, he does yeah. between. It's yes, the stuff he does yes, between doing yes, the moves. That's yeah. why, like we were saying before, like his emotion in the ring is crazy because it's all that stuff. Like he'll cut him off, mm. and then he's looking in the camera and he's smiling, yeah, or he's, smiling. Like, he's, he's got this face. He's got, spit, like, he's got spit coming down his mouth. Yeah. He's, like, he's laughing with that. He just looks tapped. I like that shit. Or he's talking like rubbish, it, like he's talking shit. Like you know? I think so. What, what, what's it down his mouth? Oh, come on, man. Talk. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. Come on, <laughs> come on. That's that. I didn't leave that for things, bro. Um, watch his Eddie Kingston match. I think you'll like it. I shouldn't be watching that. I don't. Oh, like watch it. his oh, I'm ma- not an his match. Of, his match of Omega no, no, is cold. Oh, no, no. Oh, he, he won't even bang it. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Yeah. Like I just, I just can't like. Even so, I know a lot of people say his promo ring? shit. Yeah, so like, yeah, ev- look, not everything, that great anyway, bro. Everything. I think he's all right in ring. He, promo is a promo god. He's a yeah. promo guy, but I, I still can't like. I just can't connect to him, right? Like, I can't connect to him. The one thing that gets me in this is like it shits me off so much is his machine gun chops. Because it's like, I'm a chop guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like chops yeah. and big chops. Yeah, same, same. But then he does like, yeah, but, ah, and they're yeah, like yeah, the yeah, weakest yeah, fucking things yeah, you've yeah, ever yeah, seen. Do you know like, what it is? On, it's, it's, it's kind That's, of like, it's kind of the same thing with FTL with Bret Hart syndrome. It's kind of like, he's he's an all, like, he is an all Japan lover. Mm-hmm. He oh, yeah. adores, yeah, yeah. Ko, like, he adores um, Kobashi and, and all them. He's opposed to the bedroom boy. Do you know what I'm saying? So so when he does that, don't about I think the chops are weak as shit in it as well. But when he does that, it's kind of like, oh, it's one of those things he's always going to pay homage. Yeah. Uh, yeah what, like whatever, that. but like, yeah. It's, it's the same thing with FTR with their with their Bret Hart tributes. He's always been yeah. like that, be honest. You, obviously, you watch him evolve now. He's always been like that. Yeah, I mean, like, from CZW, he's kind of been like that. But obviously, CZW, like, he wrestled a bit different. But I feel like as time has gone on, he's kind of like, he's evolved into he's he's Jun Akiyama, yeah. mm. Kento Kobashi, Kawada. He's, but he's like New York in it, so I don't know. It's like I like him. I like him, but I find him very annoying as well. Like I, yeah. I find it not hard to enjoy his matches, but it's like I kind of expect the same thing from him. And it's like, mm. Mm. well, it's all the same. To be honest, like, show like, me yeah, Eddie Kingston. Like, all the same shit. Yeah, like, I don't want to see a cosplay of like. Um, virtual pro wrestling too. Like I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When I think of Eddie Kingston, all I think of is Timberland boots, bro. <laughs> yeah. Just Timberland boots, like, straight New yeah. York, you know. And the thing is, with like, even when you're bringing up the point of New York, here, like when I watch him wrestle, I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm getting that New York. York nah, nah, yeah, yeah, like, when I watch people like Homicide, yeah, they're low key. Mm-hmm. As much as they might have their particular type of style, I look at them and I feel like, rough. Like the I'm only time you see a wrestler. Yeah. That day in New York. The only yeah, time yeah. you see yeah, Eddie yeah. Kingston in New York is in, like, is in hardcore matches. Which, yeah, and it's which, promos. And it's like, at least adopts a little bit of like yeah, what you are into. Because yeah, I saw a bit yeah. of that in Impact, but now it's kind of like... Do you like, know, I saw it in the I'm beginning saying. of his first, like in his first run of AEW. Do you, do you know when I started um, deep in the Masa, the, obviously the All Japan stuff was obviously at full gear yeah. when he was against Moxie. Moxie when he wore the white and green. When he wore the white and green. And, yeah. I, and, I, and, I, and I was like, okay, that's a cool tribute. But then from there, I feel like what, once he clocks that we clock the tribute, He's been like, all right, you might like this um, All Japan tribute. We're going to give We're you gonna All Japan tribute. Yeah, We're yeah. going to run with it. You know what I'm saying? Which, yeah. Even in this gear now, the whole black on yellow, like, it's like, from when he jumped in, I'm just like, just go back to the black and the Puerto Rico flag or something like, just, yeah, I don't yeah, know, man. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, just, just do anything, anything else. else. Yeah, just just anything else. Like, yeah. I'm tired, man. I mean, show us some New York strong stuff. I'm tired <laughs> of this King's Road that you're doing. And it's, like, it's good, but at the same time, it's like... It's a, it's, it's a, the, the, pro- the, pro- yeah. the, pro- the problem is, yeah, flattery is fine, but then when it becomes imitation, it's like, it's taken away from you. Mm-hmm. And I feel like there's moments where you can show how, like, show how barge. Like, for example, like, Samoa Joe is somebody, like, um, he said, I think Kenta Kobashi is, like, his, one, of, one of his favourites. But Samoa Joe wrestles, like, Samoa Joe. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he has... Yeah. He has like little, t- little yeah, tidbits yeah, yeah, yeah. of there, yeah, 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 but yeah, it's yeah. when you see Samoa Joe wrestle, like, no, that's fucking Samoa Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather mm-hmm. than, no oh, one. I see you're imitating 
Yeah. This yeah. goes back to the whole Easter eggs thing. You can watch Samara Joe and then you can now go and look at the Easter eggs. Whereas, yeah. yeah, right. yeah whereas yeah, with, yeah. what's it called? Uh, Eddie fucking yeah. Eddie Kingston. Yeah. He's fucking taking here, taking here, taking here. <laughs> he's basically creating a playlist of all his favourite songs. Yeah. This one's called the celebrations he's saying. Easter eggs would be a regular thing. It's like Kawashi, let's have it. Um, the Kawada, let's have it. Judah Kilma, let's have it. Mark like, I'm tired of machine gun chops in general. If 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 you can't do it like Kobashi, don't do it. Oh, is it is one no, right. Kobashi's words are mom, fucked. Mom, 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 mom. Yeah. Ring of Honor? Yeah, get yeah, Samoa yeah, Joe. Yeah. That's, um, That's Morishima. Yeah. Oh, forget. He had like short hair, wears the black trunks with... Um, I, I had to watch it back. Yeah. Oh, his match against Samoa Joe is crazy, though. Yeah. 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 Kobashi and Mazawa match. Which one? Which one, bro? Bro, they're too, yeah. too bro, crazy, sick, man. Bro, Kobashi yeah. and Misawa versus Akiyama and Taure, fam. Yeah. One of the greatest tag team matches of all time, fam. What the fuck? That's what, yeah, crazy. Cool. Um, quick one. For, um, so it looks like we're getting um, Omar Moss. What's the Brock Lesnar? Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Right, I, feel like, I feel like I'm the only one that doesn't oh, care. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't give a monkey, but uh, I don't mind it, man. We're almost versus Lesnar. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't want it. Nah, I don't. Listen, I know. We talk about elevating stars. Come on, man. This yeah, but he's not a star, bro. Yeah. Like, I can't. I'm asking Billy to stand, you know? Like, I know. I know better than Mad Dave or Almost Sapiens. I'm not one of them. I don't. I've never rated. Almost can. Almost can easily be money. Like I told you, when you see a wrestler, yeah. Imagine the figures. I don't care. Like the selling of it. Bro, I can I'm, I'm, I'm thinking make a wish. I'm, I'm like... thinking make a wish. You see the make a v- wish advert. <laughs> yeah. And they see almost walk through the door. And he yeah. bends down. Oh, oh my God, yes. Yes. I can't believe I saw one. Hey, yes, I am. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, if a man them that like that, good for you. Mm. I don't like. I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. Do you know what it is, yeah. I don't care about figures. Uh, I don't care about. Enough. Almost is not enough. Yeah. I, oh, I don't I care mean, about figures. I don't sorry, care about vignette. I don't give a monkeys. It's black history month. This the, man. The only thing, <laughs> I don't care. You, almost, you, you know don't satisfy what I like. You know what would have been nice? A Gunter versus Lesnar. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That yeah. would have been nice. That would have been nice. That's what I like. Big up, big up, big up, The mass podcast, yeah. Big up, big podcast. But you're going to get some. You're going to get some. Don't worry. You're going to get some. That would have been so perfect for WrestleMania. Put the IC title on the line. The pop they got on the Rumble. Why not? Brock, Brock should never, never fall for the IC title. Brock never, he's, never above he's above it. He's, he's above it. You don't need it. Brock has ne- Brock, Brock. I know we say nobody's above NXT, but Brock is above that no, no, title. Do you know why? You know why Brock's above yeah, it? If you look yeah, at his resume, yeah, yeah, Brock has never competed for these titles. Yeah, he's yeah, always yeah, been yeah, straight yeah, gold. Yeah, you're right, you're right, Brock you're right, versus right. Gunter should be just warfare. Yeah, that, just just kind of like war. It's a story in itself, right? You don't need to have a championship war. in it. Yeah. 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 Let them destroy. Question for you. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be silly. Can Brock hang with? Gunter. In yeah. ring, yes. Yeah. For a long yeah. period of time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. People, see, yeah. people don't. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I, oh, in terms of like, uh, like a lengthy match. Yeah. Hey, but that's what we should get from these two, right? No, yeah, I say no. I, no. I say no. I say a 15 minute barn burner. It don't need to be long. I feel like the matches we've been getting from Gunter um, on Raw and um, on SmackDown, they've been quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Long, so that's what I'm saying. Can Brock hang with that right now? Obviously, we know Brock, big ne- next big thing, Brock can hang with that. But no, Brock now yes. is, a different, is a different style. No, no, no. Do, 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 do you know how he can? Remember AJ, remember Danielson. Yeah, that's Remember what those matches. Yeah. Yeah. Remember AJ, remember Danielson. Mm-hmm. Bro, Brock and I, I think do you know do this cowboy this cowboy book has been having a lot of like Do you know what it is? I like, feel like Brock Lesnar, yeah. I say this all the time. I feel Brock Lesnar is so underappreciated in ring. I and I'll no. tell you why. I, said, I think I, said, I, said, I think he's so he's so because the no, mindset is so basic. No, but the problem no, it's not. But the thing is about Brock here, what Brock can do, yeah. Brock can sell. Brock, himself. Brock's selling ability yeah, yeah. is is insane, bro. Yeah. Brock as a wrestler, the problem is here. One, Brock don't give a fuck. Brock don't, but if Brock doesn't care, he's not doing nothing. Mm-hmm. But bro, when Brock wants to show up and deliver a good match, bro, the match against Punk, bro. Oh yeah, like that was. Bro, yeah. Brock is a great wrestler, and if he and if he's standing across somebody who's a great wrestler also that he respects as well, mm-hmm. he's gonna deliver, bro. I'm telling you, Brock and Gunter is gonna be sick. No, yeah, of course, I'm, it's I'm, gonna I'm, be I'm cold. Never, and I'm I thought Brock, Brock, Brock can fair, go there. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Brock can go there. No, of course. If I forget that at WrestleMania, that's a big bonus for us, you know. Nah, even better, bro. We get, we get Brock versus Omos. 
Fuck yeah, yeah even better. Oh, even oh my god. Oh, It'll be, you know what, you know what, you know what. Oh, what? Couldn't even beat last the what only good part what? about that what? match what? is going to be their face to face. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know? It'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a moment. It'll be a moment. It will be a moment. This is how you build stars, right? Mm-hmm. But when Omar's I agree with Black Summer season, wrestling Fuck that match. I said laps. This shows, this shows, if it does happen. Fuck that match. It shows that Brock respects Omar. It'll be a big moment. Your guy even respects Omar's. I'm yeah, but, but okay, so okay, so he's with, even, with, 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 with that, with, with this, that, have we got quotes? With that, I, I, Taker, you even went too far in terms. No, he's, of he said it, he the Andre the Giant, the Andre the Giant statement was yeah, just a bit relaxed, man. Giant. It was a bit too far, but I I can see Omos going somewhere. Not right now. That kick he does is impressive. Bro. Not right now. I'll give it that. Not right now. That's impressive. Not right now. Not he's better than the car- great Carly. Oh, definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Of course, of and course. Move, but and almost everybody. Yeah, yeah, he's more he agile. Can, I, 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 I think forget, yeah, The bar is, like is in the hell, bro. We haven't seen the real speed of Omos yet. Omos could probably do a figgy, um, what you call it? Um, we'd be surprised. We'd be surprised I land on his feet backwards. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, Bro. I mean, I'm not so I'm not sold on the idea of almost versus Brock Lesnar. Nah, I'm not. Not yet. Yeah. 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 I mean, if the story makes I sense, agree. I'm sold I, regardless. I, 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 mean, I think it's gonna be a sword. We saw them break. We saw them break. No. Because it came I mean, out of nowhere. Yeah, it came out of how can you be sold on Bray? For Uncle Hardy to be coming out of the funeral of this guy as well. Brock will now box him back in the ring, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, almost though, almost versus Les. No, do you know what it is? For sheer shit housery and entertainment, why not Bray and why not Bray and um, Brock? Because I want to see it. That'd be lovely. No, 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 no. no it won't be, be lovely. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd, it'd be a fucking trade wreck be, that I want to watch. It has to be one, last one thing, Brock can't lose. <laughs> Bray can't lose. Yeah, it has to be, yeah, has that's, to be, has to be one of those last matches. No, no, no. Yeah. It has to be one oh, of those last fight in the mirror. Or something. In the mirror. <laughs> Do you know what it is? In the fucking cabin. For pure yeah, stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this. Cabin. For pure shit house yeah. review and laughs and shits and giggles, that match will be hilarious. No, to but me. I can't lie. Hey, on the road, though, if that match happens, yeah, one of them have to leave the country. I don't know who it is. <laughs> the because man, bro, both of them will get into the I ring. Can't. The lights will turn off, and then they'll both be in. There. Nah, Brock selling for Uncle Howdy is funny. Um, flowery shirt. Brock will be in his pants from. Um, uh, the yeah, 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 yeah. They'll be babies. Yeah, yeah. They'll be. Bro, yeah, yeah. they'll be cinematic yeah, yeah. match. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh, God, 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 I can't lie. That don't see match. One of my favorite matches. I am sick. It's cold, but it went nowhere, fam. I liked it though. Imagine Bray goes to Brock's ranch. And he's oh. his and you know, something like that. It's cowboy hat. That, yeah, yeah, that was cool. I'll put Brock in the Hall of Fame after this, man. It's done. Yeah, Brock's the guy, man. No, he, no, no, he'll be there. He'll be there. It's, 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 it's done. Do, if he, do, you, do you think it's enough of Brock that, what, it's time for him to retire this year? I think he's, he's giving back now. We're seeing Brock give back a lot. You see it, so. Right, if he loses against Omas, that's him done. That's that's how can you lose? No, I, can, I, I know how the match is gonna bro. go. The match is mm. gonna go back and forth. They're gonna have either a back. Oh, squeeze his head. No, no, they're, they're, they're gonna. They're, 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 but this now, they're gonna have either an announced table spot or a barricade spot where Obos puts Brock through one. Macro's gonna be like, oh my god! Bro. And then, and oh then god. Brock, and then Brock's gonna. Oh, they're probably gonna break the ring. Over, oh. They'll yeah, probably do that fucking suplex yeah, from the top yeah, right. Yeah, right the yeah. Hey, you heard it here first. You quote that. That's a big statement, you know. Brock, Brock that's, a whole, that's, a, that's never happened. Before. Last one was Braun and Big Show, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was a it's raw, a right? That, that was a raw as well. That's 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 raw. Brock will beat Omos, man. That's not yeah. Yeah. He'll beat him. How, how about Bobby beat Bray? Nice. I like no, it, bro. No, no, no. Don't do that to Bray. Don't do that to Bobby, man. Bob Jones, Bobby, oh, Bobby, man. Bobby, Bobby's, Bobby's, Bobby's working in it. But after what Bray in his tracks, yeah, it's mixed. He has to leave the country as well. Ah, I don't know what it's with Bobby, man. That feud is funny. Oh, I love shit, Bobby, man. man. Bobby will come Bobby. off the security guys and the lights will turn off and they. Sun back on and they're all pigs. No, 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 Uncle Howdy yeah, okay. is basically someone that tries to expose you, you, Bray. You, 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 Bray has now been exposed as this guy that he's an evil guy, whatever. So Uncle Howdy's now chilling with him. For God knows what. You've exposed my man. Why are you chilling with him now? So you're Don't. chilling with your yeah, ops, right This is not really his op, but it's just like he's... I, I don't know what it is, bro. Okay, it's who, alias. Who, who it's is alias. Uncle Howdy? It's Scooby Doo. It's, it's alias. But this is how, how is he your name? He's someone that I've seen in the no, ring. Bro, bro, laps. I don't understand with Bray Wyatt. So now, from now on, every time he wrestles, is he now going to have lights off match? 
No, no, no. So because I can imagine his next match will be uh, whoever he's facing. It's going to be he's a sponsor, sponsored by 2K23 oh, DLC match. So we'll and we're not going to see an actual I'm match. Telling we're you. going to see a video game simulation. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. They're going to get a Netflix special, fam. They're going to get a Netflix Bandit Snatch Bray Wyatt, fam. He's a Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated character. Who's done to the best? Go out there. You lot relax, man. You lot relax with Bray, man. I think. um. Um, something will come of it, man. He's a Dungeons and Gang, make sense Dragons soon, player, fam. Something will make sense. Sound Uncle Howdy. It's all right. I don't know. I don't know. That is Uncle Howdy. I don't know. 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 Committing to. I'm done defending my man, though. He's fan fiction, bro. I'm done defending him. Because, bro, he's a Reddit friend. I'm done defending him. I'm done defending him still. I can't defend him no more. I can explain what he's done, but I can't. I can't say yeah. No, it's done. Let's really go into AW. I want to talk about. um no, so talk about this week. no, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't. Look, no, I, 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 um, I think you even asked a good question. Um, suplex. suplex. He put, he put a good. Uh, uh, that, yeah. So what is going on with AW though? No, I feel it's, it's cold. What's happening? Like it's cold. I mean, it's it's just, just cold. It's just, it's just is it cold? Yeah. Are you sure it's cold? Well, no, no, you no, sure it's cold? Well, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got a pay per view. They got pay per view in two weeks. People be saying this shit on Twitter though. Yeah, but there's like nothing happening there. Uh, uh, 60 uh, MJF 60 minutes and, uh, and Daniel Ryan. I didn't know that. See? That no, 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 no. I thought the pay per view will be yeah, enjoyable, yeah. but my thing with AW right now, and and this this build to the pay per view has been cold. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Like aside from the, I've enjoyed a few things. Yeah. Danielson's been sensational in his well, matches, as always, always, as, always. as he's the fucking one of the greatest of all time. 100%. Great MJF. We need to have a conversation about this title reign, about this title reign, because this title reign is cool. is. Is is not doing what it needs to do. Mm. The company, the come, the the comp, But however, I'm not going to get into hyperbole about. Oh, the company's dead. It's not dead. It's cold. There's mm. a difference. That I feel like what AW, what we've seen from AW in the past is not what we're seeing now. And I feel mm. like there needs to be more fleshed out storylines here and there. Ding Ring Wrestling is good, but the best thing about AW in in past years, even last year, was great storylines. Introspective story, a like, lot, 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 lot small, sm- smaller scale stuff paired with great wrestling. And right now, it's like it's evil. It's not even evil or it's just one, and it's just Danielson at the moment. And the elite are doing. As an elite fan, I'm upset because the elite are doing trios matches, but elite wow. are one of the best storytellers why in wrestling. Need, why do we need to see AR Fox and Top Flight against the elite more than once? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like really, you know, yeah. on the yeah. same on they two weeks in a row, rampage. Yeah. Yeah. Could, it mean, could it mean that they're running out of options? But no, black that could be a trio. You know, no, they're not, not using the options. I'm just asking. They're not using the options. Last week, yeah. I said last AW just one dimension. It's boring. It's boring. I, I can't. I can't. It's like, one dimension. I tried to watch it. I switch off. I can't do it. They're missing. Bro, for me personally, I feel like they're missing punk. It's not punk. I, for me, I think they're missing punk. punk. Punk's not the issue. Punk will come back. Punk's not the issue because punk, punk, and here's the thing. Here's the thing with a with a dub. Punk was never like. Because the elite could fill that role in terms of storylines. Elite have done that before. There are bare people in the in the in the roster that can tell good but, stories. But I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna sound a bit fucked, but what is okay? I don't know actually. Actually, I'm not saying nothing. So I was gonna say, what is there more for the elite right now? Yeah, there's bad, there's bad, there's hella stories that could be yeah, telling with the elite. Well, they like could like we do we the sing, House of Black. Okay. Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we do like, need that's that. That's where I we thought they would go, but they still have it. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I think we need a Bushi. Do you think no. Bushi in AEW? No, no, he'd cook in AEW, but he's not the solution to the problem. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. He'd he'd be a great distraction, but he doesn't solve the actual issue because Bushi would only be there for a short period of time. He's a mm. stopgap. For me right now is you need to, the thing that made me like AEW and the thing that would, when AEW was at its peak was the, I had long, not long term storytelling, but the, the, F- fleshed out storylines, whether it was MJF and Punk, whether it was Kenny and Hangman, even even the small stuff they did when they built up Jungle Boy for that period, they're not mm-hmm. doing the stuff that they if you that they used to do. Do you know what I'm saying they're not giving people runs with titles that mean something? I feel like right now it's just, just like on matches. just putting on yeah, matches, 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 well, matches, 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 matches. Same stuff like yeah. Christian come back and what choke slam. Um, Jungle now, Christian's Boy, gone again. right now. You know now. what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, so that story's that, back. Now. That's back. He was out. Wasn't why? He? <laughs> why is that? Why is that <laughs> back? You know, yeah. we don't need yeah. it. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's quickly go into Noah in it. Yeah. Um, we had um, Kiji oh. Moto's um, last love. Yeah, Listen. Yeah. He, out, he outdrew. He outdrew Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah. Really? Crazy. Yeah. Five hour pay per view though. Yeah. Is it? It's Japanese. But then again, it was it was like um. It was like an all-star show. It was all-star, because uh, you had, you had Noah. BW, Noah, All Japan, DDT. 
Yo, we have to link up. Yeah, it was a. I can't lie. That the production on that show was insane. I can't. And this is and this is what I said this on Twitter. Western wrestling companies. Stop constituting presentation as slapping LED lights on things. That's not that. Look, 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 these companies will be LED they're, here, they're, they're, LED here, and this, and this, and this. This is no. There's way to create spectacle and scale and yeah. pageantry. Yeah. That's what no. That like, yeah. I've seen it multiple times with Noah. Like no one know how to do pageantry. I'll tell you what. Don't you think that's down to culture? No, no, but I'll tell you what though. Yes, 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 cool. Yes, do this year. I I think that is down to culture. It's down to culture. Isn't it down to culture? Yeah. So also Japanese wrestling has always been like. It's always Japanese, always a spot. But we've we've done we've done the beef. We have WrestleMania, right? Outside of wrestling. WrestleMania the the reveal for WrestleMania's stage, the entrance is also a thing that people also look out for, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. I feel like they only put that one. Yeah, but yeah, they but but, but it needs to be, it needs I, I don't to be for I, the whole I, yeah yeah it, it needs to be for the whole thing because WWE in the past have shown us that they can do better. They, they, but, but, with, but, with, pay, with previous with old school pay per view sets, bro, it used to be fucking beautiful. Mm, Some of these yeah. oh, we go we, we we literally do every week. We go back and say, remember the judgment they said, remember this, remember mm. that. That there's a standard that them man used to have that they that that's not being upheld today. We can't keep saying but WrestleMania, but WrestleMania, but. Especially if you've set precedent before that you can do all pay per views. Let's not just pick. And obviously, AEW shit on AEW's pay per view sets all the week because they're shit. But WWE as well, we need to hold them to a standard as well. Where it's like, bro, don't just show up the big bucks for WrestleMania. You look, you look at getting money from the Saudis. You look at getting money from these TV dudes. You might have more money than you've had in the past. Do pay per view sets. Mm. It's no excuse. Them, yeah, I'm yeah, tired. Yeah, I'm yeah, tired of yeah, these yeah. fucking but, LED but shit. Even show sets, Go on, I agree. Mm. Even show sets. Mm. So you Monday Night Raw. You know Monday Night Raw. Yeah, bro, you yeah, 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 I'm yeah, tired of this shit, bro. WWE, they've been finessing us still. Instead of doing something physical, they'll do it digitally. Digitally. Give us a real set. Yeah. Give us a real statue of Roman Reigns. It's just too demo the way the way the graphic views like it's just sounding like this. It's like Nollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel, I feel like I feel like that's Bro. because of like more of this. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe like, the era that we're living at now. Yeah. It's not. It's not all. Yeah, it's not raw, in it. It's more. It yeah. looks like more a, cartoony. It looks like more a fucking. Ha, 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 hoo, hoo, it looks like the. I'm you know telling you, I mean? the sets right now look, look like the fucking Price is Right, bro. It looks like a game show. Like, sw- yeah, that's, switch that's, it up, bro. That's, that's what it is, though. Switch mm-hmm. it up. I'm yeah. tired. Oh, yeah. this is we need to go back to the credits and check who used to do the set design for WWE. Easter eggs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's even the same with the entrances. Besides Romans, the rest are just... Uh, uh, like the entrance sucks, music bro. sucks. These new entrance music suck. A lot of them do, bro. They I suck. Don't, I don't like the videos for the entrance music as well. It's, it's, just, their, it's just their it's name and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah, like I it. Yeah, I think it works. I liked it when they had the compilations of yeah, all same, the rest of the matches. Same, 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 same. Mm. I like bro, even the music in the though. intro and like different. the intro itself to like all the WWE shows. Like yeah. they used to be so sick. They used to like amp yeah. 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 And then yeah. now it's yeah. like, yeah. 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 oh, okay, Raw's one. Oh, SmackDown's mm-hmm. one. You know, like. Mm-hmm. I don't mind the Raw one though. I don't mind the Yeah, it was fine. Do you know what is? I, I, I don't like, oh, like, I don't even, even something, I know this is just me nitpicking, but even, I don't like the fact that, why why are the, um, what's it called, poles, why are the 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 poles, why are it's on the barricade, I think. It's on a barricade now. So See, that's too much. much that's too much. That's too much, bro. Yeah, too much red, too much blue. That's too much, bro. Why the fuck? Like, I, I said LED bondage, bro. Change it. I'm <laughs> tired. Like, it's, Change it. It's, it's, LED's taking over the whole film industry. I'll tell you that like, now. It's, it's, I'm even, even, it's like, even, lot. for example, like you don't even have to be on a set no more. They have LED panels all around the whole room. You can be in, you can be in the bike. Don't, they're filming the bike. Don't get me wrong, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The LEDs I like here. You know when sometimes they'll put like LEDs on the ring ramp? Here and then like stuff will be going on through the side. You do know, no 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 not not on the side. They'll be like no, the on whole the on the floor. The whole floor will be LEDs. Oh, like what they done for um a- um AW um Grand Slam. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah stuff like that. Sick. Yeah. I love that yeah. shit. But in terms of like like if you're gonna use LED, yeah, I feel like have it in a concentrated area. Don't slam it everywhere and it, because now it just looks like a light show. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, even even something as simple yeah as like like um production wise like 
having moving lights. They help, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Having moving lights, move around the arena, having synchronized lights for entrances. These are little details. Do you remember the, the Backlash 2002 entrance? He kept moving. Bro, like, can you see what's yeah, starving, bro? We're being starved. Yeah, We're being starved, bro. The Armageddon one when it was uh, yeah, Triple man. H V Shawn Michaels. Yeah. It's probably just this era, era, man. Era. This era is yeah, all of them. This era is black. But listen, in 50 years, when they go back in time, they look back on this era. It's visually it's, yeah. uninspiring, yeah. bro. They just say no, for mania. No, yeah. That's what they yeah. do, innit? No right. inspiration, no mm. ambition. No, no, it's anyway, let me stop before I yeah, start you saying You need to go back to the thing and start, set the zone. I'll start saying um, stuff. You know, yeah, before, yeah. Next one, man. Do you want to quickly carry on? We'll do it on the last stream. We'll do it on the last stream, yeah. Um, do you want to carry on with the Noah show? Did everyone watch it? Yeah, um, I need to finish I it. I need to watch it. Um, talk about the vignette that you guys are talking about. Oh, but this KG Moo of vignette. Is it? Bro. It's, it's, it's all it's, inspiring. It's, yeah. It's all inspiring. If you were... Step your tones. Step your tones. It's more like, let's say, like, let's imagine, like, He's just sitting here and he's watching his. He's watching his career. The cinema. Oh, he's like, watching. He's, yeah, yeah. he's in a room and he's watching it on a screen, and it's like a big screen and you're just seeing like black and white bro. flashbacks of you with your long hair. You in WC. I'm like, bro. Bro. That's pretty sick. No, they got no, 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 I'm bro. You know what I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm bro. They got Frank Sinatra. I did it my way, playing mm. in the background, and he's watching his whole career. How long is it? It's, it's like a three, it's like a maybe two couple minutes. Couple, is, that, what, what, is that a beginning of the show? Or is that nah, nah before, his but, but before his match. Yeah. Right, okay. Are you seeing no, like all his bro, Anafi, wrestling Anafi, well? I'll show you after the stream. Well, I'll go after, on my phone. to watch the full thing. What, the full, the full show? No. What, for, to actually watch that match or yeah. in general? That's what's full show in general? Um, and, and, not, any, really. not really. Not really. Any bandizzies? No, I mean, there's a couple, but for the most part, I would say that there's people to look out for in on the show. What would that kill me? Is it kill me? Oh, Carter kill me. That was a good match. It was a very polarized event. No, no, the co-main event. event. Oh, shit. I feel like that match... people weren't happy about it. Yeah. Okay. How long yeah. did it go, that card event? Um, maybe like 15, yeah, about 15, 15 really? 20. 15. I feel like to appreciate... The card kill me a match, I feel like to, to appreciate that match, you kind of got to have a background on both guys. Um, yeah, you right. kind of got to like... But like oh, so we saw what happened at the... Um, was it like a Noah and... Um, New Japan. Kingdom? Yeah. So that kind of gave you that the extra thing to go and watch the match. You like that, Sam, man. That's your type of shit. What? Well, scrap. They scrapped like mad scrapping. Like, okay. mad scrapping. It was like a shoot fight. Like, the, ma- yeah, the match was polarizing. Obviously, as an Okada, as an Okada fan, I, I I fucking loved it. But obviously, it's like I don't know. I say the finish is worth checking out for yourself. Was it a long match? No, no. Was, no, no, told you, yeah, no, it was like fifteen minutes. Like it's fine. Don't, it's, it's, it's not these forty minute epics. Don't worry. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, I I personally like the match. I like the match with the caveat if. They do something with that finish and they tell a story with it, in it. Because mm-hmm. if they don't, if if that's a one and done, then that's deep. But yeah, I've really much enjoyed the match. But I I enjoyed the show as a whole because I don't know. I just had like even though like I didn't watch KG Muto's whole career and I came with I, I discovered KG Muto like retrospectively. It was nice to see someone go out that way. Do you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like so somebody like I feel like that's probably like the best retirement I've seen. In terms of like somebody going out with their head, even though he's in ring, is it officially? He's done. Well, he's well, he, ring, well, well, it's KG Muto, so you never know. Yeah, in it. He's, <laughs> he's a wrestler, isn't it? He's, so a, he's, a, he's a but because his last match was meant to be his last match, but he ended up having a match with Masahiro Chono. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. He, he, might go, he might go in the Hall of Fame this year. Yeah. Yeah. Would be sick. He should, yeah. man. Yeah. And, and it's just like, bro, was, it, was that wait? That was actually a match. Yeah, it was like a one minute match. Yeah, he really got him in the thing after he tapped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Masahiro basically was old footage, you know. So? No. I thought I was all footage. No, 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 straight after the match, literally, he challenged Masahiro Chono. Um, we got Chono, man. Did he come with the shades? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was obviously, he's always there, he's always commentating, isn't it? Yes, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but I just felt like for somebody to like, obviously, and, and KG, if you do the research on KG Mute, it was like one of the greatest Jap- um, wrestlers in Japanese history. Chono had a match with Brock Lesnar, by the way. Okay. Yeah, for the, um, uh, for the tell, for the IWGP tell. Yeah, okay. if you look at um, Muto's yeah, yeah. history, he's one of the greatest wrestlers, like, ever do you know what i'm saying and he means so much like um to japanese wrestling as a whole mm-hmm. especially during like one of their biggest periods in the 90s isn't it and obviously people have complained about him like later on in the years how he books for himself and part of that is true but just to see somebody go out with their head held high and a wrestling legend getting like the 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 bow out that he deserves mm-hmm. yeah man it, it, was, it was beautiful to is, see is he the creator of the mist no great no. book is but he's but he's one of the first he's ever, one that popularized it. yeah and he's one of the first ever people is to it, do a moonsault on um, that, television. Like, really? Yeah. 
You yeah, know he's, yeah. he's one of the first people to do a moonsault that's, on TV. That's nuts. Yeah, really? really? I know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He popularized, he popularized the moonsault. He's got a great documentary on um, his channel, Russell Byers, about um, Kate, um, Great Meters run in WWE. Yeah. If you haven't watched his it, first watch run it. was good. His yeah. second run was terrible. Yeah, his first, yeah that's what he spoke about. His second run was yeah. family. Yeah. Had him with fucking um, Jimmy Yang, Jimmy Wang Yang, JB Noble. Where, where, where did he go? Like Jimmy Wang Yang. Um, what a name, bro. I remember that guy. When did he join WWE again? Like 96? 96. Yeah. I don't know if he got into that yet, but uh, there's yeah. another video. Chono was the leader. He was the leader, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he's a part of um, NWO Japan he's as well. The, he's, the, he's, 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 kind of, he's kind of big and he's got like a mohawk or something, and his face is like, he's got like a blonde mohawk. Not, not blonde, but it's like orange. Wait, Noah? He, I think he's Noah. Kitamiya. It might be him. He, he wears the black. He was he part of NWO as well? No, no, he's too. Are no. you talking about someone now? No, you're talking about someone from Wait, the no, past. Japanese oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Tenza. Japanese yeah. Tenza. 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 Yeah, Tenza. 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 Yeah, he was part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. I saw the whole video about it. But, um, bro, thank you guys for coming, man. Honestly. Oh, I appreciate Thanks it, man. Us, Did you guys just come back again? Oh, 100%. I enjoyed this. You've got to let us know what your matches are as well, man. Oh, yeah, 100%. What's your match? You guys got much? No, nah, nah. not yet. It's something that we're it's gonna work works. on. It's we just the got works. a name. The tag give, team give us name. your face scans. We'll make it on WWE Two K, man. We got like a universe mode happening. Like, oh, this really? guy, nah, be sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually give oh, Dell a shout. Out. I don't care. Don't if you guys need much, no, 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 listen. Dell, has keep been, that in has been secretly releasing videos on, on, on. Nah, YouTube, it's me and my brother in it. We got the man. You stay there. They've been secretly releasing videos on YouTube, innit? And it's like Two K matches, bro. The quality and the match, the camera cuts, the story that he's telling in there. Amazing, honestly. Crazy. When I watched it, it came up on my finger. I was like, "Wait, so hacked though." I watched it. Yeah. I was like, "Dill, this is cold, bro. You should do more of this." You see the second one? I, I didn't get a chance to watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. But it started off as a banger. Like they were fighting backstage. Yeah. Look at this guy. See this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Oh no, he's doing, he's doing, he's doing good, yeah, man. Keep doing it, man. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying Wait, see when you have to press that work. You have to do something yeah, do to something. keep yourself yeah, yeah. busy. Uh, I'm yeah, in yeah, the, yeah. I'm yeah. the description still. People need to watch that, man. Go ahead, That's man. Sick, man. It's good, up, man. We, we got a special paper if you coming up. Man, the mania. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, man. Are you, Are you gamers? Any, any yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm selective, selective games, innit? it? Tekken Tekken Eight's coming out pretty soon. I think next month. Oh, that'll be fun. Coming up. Maybe, maybe. Um, been playing. I want to play The Last of Us again. Yeah, oh, right. bro. Yeah, I mean, You're watching the TV that. show? Yo. The TV show's been amazing. The latest, what, two the latest episodes? Couple, We're but... trying to... So then we can... Have you seen episode it, you five? No, I think we've got four or five to watch, innit? Yeah. Four, yeah episode four, five. Four, five. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Three, bro. Finish, bro. bro, episode five. Episode five's mm. crazy. I'm ready to binge it. Yeah, so we're doing the same, bro. I can't lie. Yeah, before we look off, though, Atlanta, this season, last season, I thought that was the last season. I've waste, waste of time. <laughs> I stopped watching that after season two. It started man. getting dumb. Like I just can't bother, man. I'm all, I'm all about my surrealism shit, but yeah, this mm. is this is this starts spiraling out. But yeah, guys, um, tell us where we can find you, man. Yeah, so I'm just on Twitter at Zaire. Um, I'm on Instagram at Angelo Shaka. I'll get the boys to spell it because yeah, it's man. a it's a weird spell, so, but. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Definitely, man. Nice, nice, nice. Good up, man. Just Make some fucking noise for that. Finally, appreciate you, boys. Thanks for having me. One thing to say. As the phoenix rises and the smoke settles, the ashes will arrive. Ooh. Yeah, we're here, we baby. End, I've we're got here, a question baby. for you guys. Mm-hmm. Can you guys give us that free tag teams you guys want to face in the UK? Call them out. Show them okay, that. so... Uh, my boy, my boy, Smashing Mike, mm. he's in a tag team He's got West Side Heat. Yeah, yeah. So... That's top of the list. My guy, that's yeah, that's yeah, top yeah, of yeah. the list. Yeah, so, number one. Time, yeah. That's, 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 a, that's a competitor now. That's his that's former hot. friend, yeah. bro. <laughs> former friend. So, yeah, man. Shout out him and James Toner. But, yeah, we want them. We, we want them. them. If you need a manager. I mean... I mean, if you need a manager, talk the talk. Yeah. No, man, no. Two, more teams, two, more teams, two more teams, two more teams, two more teams, two more teams. Two more teams. Two more teams. Could be um, anyone. Can I just say ever? Like F- any that team is... ever? I'm not talking about anything in the UK, be. but I mean, you can talk any in, in America as well. You can, I mean, so for, you, for me, like I, I would love, and it's obviously a part dream, but like. Aussie Open would be sick to me. I'm a I'm a big fan. Obviously, for me personally, FTR is like that. Yeah. That, yeah. If we if we can get there, matches, that would be fun. Like, that's you know top of the top. We have got a lot of work to do before we get there. Yeah. But yeah, willing to put the work. Guys will get there, man. Yeah, yeah you will, man. Hundred yeah. percent. Appreciate, yeah, it, man. appreciate, appreciate you, boys. It. Thank you, guys. Come on, thank you, boys. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. I've been a nafi. I've been a nafi. Oh, your boy Sam. Sorry, I'm late, man. Your boy Sam Blacks. Do you want to do your intro before we go?
Yeah, you do draw. <sighs> Let's go. Here we go. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take all, all our money from my account. D-O. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. D-O. All right, Sam, you're taking the money, though. Come on, man. It's your boy, Sam Blacks, Mr. Controversial, Underdone, Mr. Top 5, Dead or Alive, Big Men, Mr. 150 Million Percent, Mr. Hot Takes, Nikki Bella's Baby Boy. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah, I mean, we're here on the podcast. Your girlfriend's in trouble. Sam Blacks is in the room. <laughs> it's your boy Dove Boy. It's your boy Laps. Don't know why I went to the Grams. It's your boy NK. It's the Wrestling Podcast, episode 160, the coolest wrestling podcast in the world. Make sure you guys join our membership because. Listen, you see our Discord is popping off. I can't lie to you. You guys are getting exclusive content. You guys are getting to chat with us. You guys are getting discount codes. You guys are getting everything. You guys are getting things podcast. You guys are getting to know about our Valentine's Days and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We've got one dropping next week. We've got one dropping next week. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but you guys tell us. Let us know, but you can only tell us if you join. Yeah. But yeah, I'm talking too much, like we always say. I'm doing the members. This is Wrestling's Podcast. By the man them. For the man them. Oh, pussy. Jade Cargill, I love you. <laughs> See ya. Cool. What's up, people? Rest Things Mandem here, letting you guys know we now have YouTube channel memberships live on the channel. Any video you click on the main profile, you will see a join button. So make sure you join, sign up. There are two different tiers, and there's all kinds of different perks all over these tiers, yeah? Again, Rest Things now has channel memberships. Sign up and support the Mandem. You just got to the end of the podcast and if you've enjoyed what you've listened to, you enjoyed what you watched, you enjoyed the vibes, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode. Bow.